We are live part three here. Yeah, here we go. Matt you, Moser, Galen Unold, you know, here at the Ocala Golf Club. And uh, that's think, what you should be seeing. Yeah, I know. I think step one is don't listen to John. By the way, that's that's good life advice. I mean, he's yeah. won some Super Bowls. But uh, here we go. So we're going to bring in the 10U rec team. Yeah. There's a lot of commotion going on. Back. Of course, whenever you have commotion, Davis involved. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to, I'm going to turn everything over to Coach Mike Jones. All right, Mike Jones. Mike Jones. Turn up the music. Okay. Mike Jones there you go. Done everything to make the Cowboys successful All right. My name is Jesse. You guys are going to put on the headphones or just look at them? <laughs> All right. <laughs> there we go. Matty, you yeah. got to, you know, not everybody is the pro that you are. You know, oh, there can Jesus. only be one goat. Oh, my God. This guy's so I, I, I'm told that off the record you're trying to take my job, which is fine. Yeah, no, no, uh, yeah, I don't want to mess up as much as you do, so I, that's your <laughs> that's job fair. there. Yeah. That's fair. All right, well, here we go. Coach, introduce yourself. I hear myself in the background. That was wild. How are you today? Pretty good. How are you guys doing? It's good. It's the 10 u Rec Cowboys. John, turn that down and fix the camera. It's the 10 u Rec Cowboys. Just do what they tell you to do. Okay, I, I don't care. All right. Um, how are you today? Doing good. How are you guys doing? I'm good. I'm good. Appreciate it's, you having us. Yeah, no problem. This is a, this is going to be fun. So tonight, and we're really focusing on your team because you're the number one seed in the NFC, which is uncommon for the Cowboys because they're not used to that. This is the uh, different Cowboy regime. That's we right. Well, here. that's what, that was going to be my first question is how do you change, you know, the losing nature of the Cowboy look? <laughs> I'll be there. Like I'll be there. No, are you are fun. you a real co are you a Cowboys fan too? Yes, sir. Yeah, oh. you could tell by the way he answered it. Like yeah. he that yeah. hurt him deeply. Out. No. You don't buy a on that shirt Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. And and RJ's over there. He's like, I'm about to throw you out of the whole building. Yeah. I mean the good news about Cowboys gear is it's always half price, right? That's correct. After the season. I, I I've got a lot of Cowboys jokes, including <laughs> whatever they think their record's going to be. They're about 15% less than that. Well, You're a solid 8-8 ball club. That's we signed up to be the Cowboys. I figured this was our only chance at a championship. Yeah. Is that right? That's right? I like it. I like it. All right, so who do you have with you today, Coach? Uh, got my boy Cooper here. Cooper right. Ward. Cooper, you're one of the centers, right? You're the no, the, uh, no, you're that's right. You're that slot, slot receiver. Yeah, yes. yeah. You make you I, when we covered your game, all you guys did was make plays. Mm -hmm. You were a lot of fun to watch. What what do you enjoy about flag? That I get to catch the ball a lot. Yeah, yeah. And is it is it not wearing that big old chain? Whose chain is that? <laughs> Mine. You iced up. <laughs> yeah, I like swag. It. I like it. Is that half off? If you're rocking in here oh, with yeah. that piece right there, oh, right? Yeah. yeah, you're sitting there saying, "Hey, deal with us this weekend. We're bringing it. <laughs> you got no shot." He so, should, what do you he should be confident though? He's balled out all season long. Where do you play in tackle? O line. O line. And so, this flag gives you an opportunity to catch the ball and to run people over. Yeah. Like with what? the ball in your hand. Mm hmm. I love it. Well, I what? think I think that game we covered with them, we had Colton and Cooper just just <laughs> mossing everybody. It was it was it wasn't even it was ridiculous. I mean, you guys know you made grown men cry over they were, that. They were right? like, "Oh, he's too old." <laughs> yeah. Right? Like they were like, "Oh my God, it's unfair." I mean, you guys just just were unstoppable. I love that game. Um, I think you made the whole staff of whatever team you're they playing quit. at that point. Oh, yeah, they quit. They quit. I don't know that we want to talk to John. <laughs> yeah, I mean, John's <laughs> like, I'm going to have to send another email. <laughs> yeah, great. We, yeah, John's about to send a 500-page email about this. But um, anyways, yeah, I mean. <laughs> That's and, true. Yeah. That's true. But I, I think we talked about it on the broadcast. You know, you got these two guys. They get stuck playing offensive line. If they're at MCYFL, they're red capped or whatever. And this is what's good about flag is you get these – and I don't want to use the term non-skill, but, you know, these non-skill guys to get out be able to run routes, catch passes. You know, because by the time they get to high school, I mean, look at these guys. They're going to be benching 400 pounds here in the next couple the, of weeks. The, the truth is that's why we put this team together. Right. Was to keep these kids active, to keep them playing football, to keep them getting and staying in shape. And, you know, we are lucky enough to have a group of kids that bought in week one. Yeah, I like and, it. And, you know, it's a team effort. So, from top to bottom, it's it's been a great experience for them. So. Yeah, I love it. I love them seeing it. I mean, I you know, I talked to interview him after the game. 
I'm like, you can't guard this kid. He just go. He's got one hand and catches. I mean, he's all over the place, you know. I guess I should stop muting myself. So, <laughs> no, and does that does this translate at all? Matt and I talk about this all the time. How the flag game doesn't translate at all. The tackle, does it help them when they're are uh, blocking on offense? I think it absolutely helps them, in particular with their feet work. Yep. Okay. So I I, I think um, it will definitely benefit them next season in tackle, with their feet work, just being better conditioned, uh, learning a little more about the game, which will only help them understand their position even more. Yeah. Looking at you know, it through maybe tackle, a different tackle, they lens. only get to do so much. Sure. You know, they're sure. doing the dirty work. Yeah. Yep. But in flag, they're out here scoring and doing their thing, and that's why we did this. So I'm happy it worked out. How much it. fun is it to, to score, a, to catch a touchdown pass? Fun. Is it better than pancaking somebody? No. Look at yeah. it. The, oh. oh no. Hey, oh. Cole, what about you? Pancakes more fun or touchdowns? Pancakes, man. You know, are, do, what position do you play? Guard, center, guard. You know, you know, going on a little pull. Yeah. And just clearing out that defensive end who's like five foot three, and yeah. you're just gonna light him up. Love it. Is that better than mossing somebody? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cole, uh, Cooper, how many touchdowns you got this year? Do you keep track? Yes. One for each piece of ice. Yeah. <laughs> huh? 13. I mean, you, I mean, you, you, got, got, you got to have 20. He's got to, I mean. I'll tell you this, too. The, the longer these leagues have gone on, like back in the day, four or five years ago, I would ask somebody, how many touchdowns he got? Oh, I got 17. I got this. These kids now, they don't know. You ask Armani how many touchdowns he got. He has no idea. Well, it's know? on their Instagram account. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that. All you, right. So, Coach, let's talk really quickly about your side of the bracket. You're coming in again as the one seed. Giants are the two seed. It's basically the NFC East with the Eagles at third, and then the Packers is your first game. Thoughts coming into this tournament? Uh, we expect to get everybody's best effort, you know. So um, we intend to give ours as well. How big of an impact is Coach Davis on you as a coach and as on this team? So I'm not sitting here without Coach Davis. This is my first season coaching flag, and he brought me in here, kind of showed me the ropes, and cut me loose when he felt like I was ready. But now it's my boy, and he, uh, we've been coaching tackle together. But definitely excited and, and uh, happy that we joined this league. And we wouldn't be the team we are without Coach Now helping us out. He's so. a much better flag coach than tackle coach. Absolutely. He, he, <laughs> look. <laughs> He's a much better Jerry Jones, too. That's right. That's right. That's right. He, hey, all he can do is bring you the talent. Yeah. No, but that's good. But uh, it's going to be exciting. This weekend is going to be a fun one. This is a, the 10U rec and the 10U comp again. Yeah. 1A and 1B as far as uh, just the separation is so small. You're going to have to be on your game to bring home the ring. No doubt. Oh. No doubt. We've been preaching it all week. They're not, they're not going to lay down for us. You know, we got to come out and play our game, execute give our best effort, and hopefully get Beautiful. Thank you, guys. You guys. Good, good luck hey, this good weekend. Luck. Hey, you guys don't play till Sunday, huh? We play Saturday. We play oh, okay. uh, That's, Saturday okay. at 3. Jeez. Wow. Late games. Nice. We'll be there. This age right group, on. it's probably best. Yeah. Yeah, my, my first game's at 8.30. Cool. What am I? Man, I get six-year-olds or something? <laughs> I got. I've got six year olds too. Yeah. Ten <laughs> boys playing at nine thirty, oh. and then we play. At oh, three. what so other team awesome. are y'all on? Are you? Uh, the J six U Jags. Okay. Okay. So nice. Awesome. Awesome. All right, coach. Thank get you for out your time. Here. Thank you guys. Good, Good luck. luck. Good luck this weekend. It's Thank a ten U Red Cowboys. Yeah. Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, way to cut them off. Right yeah. Now, right look, now. I, hey. Yeah. When you're in charge, you get to have certain things. Yeah, you know. I, I was a Cowboys fan for a while. Really? And they just started wow. the butt fumble. <laughs> I've had my heart broken the so many times. The butt fumble was the Jets. Was the Jets. No, that's right. I'm, tar I'm thinking of Romo in, yeah. the, in the playoffs. But uh, you, you know, so here's on this division. I, I'll say this: we did the Bills and Cowboys game, and I and I do feel like the Bills have some speed, but nobody's beating the Cowboys. They can't. Nobody. They got nobody to guard Colton. They got nobody to guard Cooper. No. It's it just, it's not fair. Uh, I mean, it's not fair to the other teams. It's fair for them. I'm not saying it's it's dirty or illegal, but man, it's just not fair. They got well, and, and to say it's not legal is 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 crazy. Yeah, that's not what I'm trying to say. No, I'm just but, trying but, to, but that yeah, was said, you know, and I was like, right. come on now. Um, and, and, and what the? Huh? No, no, you're out. What what happened no, to the ten you comp? Ten you. The 
bill, the bills were a no show. Oh, okay. Well, well we're no, we're we're breaking down this Hang rec on, yeah, man. Playoff. Golly. But man, um, so, all he want, why don't you just sit down? Yeah. I, I I can get you an extra. So, but uh, but I um, you know, when, when we watched that game, I felt like the coaches were doing a real good job keeping yeah. their kids in that game. And, and just kind of in the last five minutes, it got away from them. It, but, it but, was one or two plays right. in that first half. And, and, and we talked about it. They we were did. in the game, and then they made some stupid – they kept throwing picks to the quarterback, whoever that kid was. I forget that kid's name. But Well, I will tell and, you, and, and we talk about this a lot, coaching matters. Right. Coaching matters at every level. And especially when the margins of victory are so small. Right. And I, I think the, in, in that particular game, the coaching is what decided it. Yeah. I mean, I hate to give Nile any type of credit because I think Well, we don't. We know, don't. I just think he's a jerk. But, you know, <laughs> um, he, you know he, he, out, he out coached him. But it would be a lot easier if he wasn't such a good dude. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you a story about me and Nile at my kid's uh, wrestling bank at one time. Uh, I'll, I'll have to tell that one off. All there. right. But anyways. But we'll go 10U comp. You ready? Yeah, let's do 10U comp. And, uh, uh, I guess we got John and Jakari over here. So let's talk about it before I – I'm going to keep but, John on yeah, mute for a little yep, bit. Yep, yep. Um, Look. The most competitive division in yeah. the league, and it's not close. I think, unfortunately, yeah. there's nobody here from the 49ers because they are by far and away my favorite team. They are uh, the Coming favorite. in seconded only by the Raiders. Yep. Um, but uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And um, this is a fun division to watch because the margin of, of difference in the competition is so small. Yeah, and I think, you know, obviously the Niners are the favorite. In my opinion, John's not beating them. I'm not sure John can even get through the Raiders. Um, you know, if you remember when John, when the Bengals played the Raiders last time, there was some controversy in that. Well, controversy, and then we, you and I went back and we looked right. at the tape. We submitted the tape to the league, right. and the president said, no, I had the right to make yeah. that decision. So, he 25 yards away, yeah. <laughs> and said, no, he don't. Yeah, I, and you and know. And he appealed it, made up a rule. Yeah. No. Well, Jack Sheaves helped him. No, write no, the no. Rule. Listen, and, and we'll go over that rule. Hey, we've seen that two years in a row, and sure. it just happens to be both times they play in Bo and Niles' crew. But um, you know, you can't leave your feet and dive. We know that Kingston did it last year at the end of the Chargers game. Got called back. No good. Whatever. It just it is what the rule is. I don't, you know I don't like the rule, but it is. They enforce it. Quit crying. <laughs> It, it, you know, so I want y'all to remember that. When, hey, when, do, when, do, when, do, do I get my turn to defend myself? Not yet. All not yet. No, 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 not yet. No, no, not, not. <laughs> I, I, no, 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 you're, you're muted. muted. You're but muted. Anyway, um, anyways, back I, to it. I, I, I do like the Niners as the favorite. I think this Bengals. By the way, the Niners haven't been beat. No, it, it, but they've been in some really close games. And, and I think that makes it, them tournament tested. Right, because let me tell you this, though. When, when the Raiders played them on that Wednesday night, That's right. there were so many drop passes by the Raiders. That's they right. didn't help Bowser's out at all, or Browser, whatever his name is. Um, Bowers, yeah. They didn't help him out at all. They dropped a ton of passes. Okay, now, in that being said as well, the Bengals did play the 49ers really well. It came down to a convert point, a conversion at the end. So it's the, a controversial call. The coach, we right. agree, made the wrong decision. So, yeah. So, so the 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 point is, it, this division is is going to be the most exciting of the weekend. I and I and I just really I hope it lives up to the hype. You got so many, and, and also the coaches on all these teams between John. Oh, it's well and coached. Phil Moore. Yeah. And uh, and it was it the Crutter or whatever they call him on the Niner. Who was that guy? Oh, like, I'm on the U.S. No, uh, you're muted. Oh, oh, yeah. Go ahead. There we go. Go, go ahead. ahead. John no, Ivory, no, everybody. The, the, the 49ers coach is Gerard Williams and yeah, Aaron yeah. Chappell. Uh, but, hey, but, but, but to touch on that, going, going back to that <laughs> game against the Raiders, you know, let's, let's, let's not forget, you know, the four timeouts that they got at the end of the game. Right. Uh, you know, it was, it was a great game. You know, I, I went back and that game. And uh, we scored three unanswered touchdowns in the second half to come back and win the game and let nothing up. And big credit to that win came to this guy right here sitting next to me, Jakari yeah. Thomas, because uh, he's my main rusher out there, and he just brought the heat like no other and flustered that quarterback. Um, yeah. He did it again this past weekend. We went and played in a tournament um, over up, in, up at the uh, Jacksonville Jaguar Stadium. Um, unfortunately, we lost in the semifinals up there to a very good team. But in the quarterfinals, we beat a team 
that beat us in a championship game last year out of Jacksonville, 20 to zero. And a big credit again went to this guy because of the rushing that he uh, he brought to the table and flustering the quarterback. So, um, but yeah, no, you guys are right. The 10U comp division is probably the uh, one of the more competitive divisions out there. Um, you know, it's it's you know it's it's it, it it could go any direction. And look, I mean, I think the one thing you guys are forgetting too is, you know, with 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 our team having the one seed, that that was huge for us because now we don't get in a situation as a two seed. You only have to play. You play two fewer games. Well, than the, well, than we the get well. Five. Well, what happens is is we 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 play the winner of the four and five seed for our first game right. before the AFC Championship, and. Yes, that's a half a game, but if we were the two seed, we would have had to play that three seed, which is the Dolphins, and the Dolphins are no joke. They're they a good team. Good. And, and so, we've had so that team. well, and and the Raiders and Dolphins They're will fast. will play each other, and it's not a full game; it's only a half a game. Right. So anything can happen in those half games. Um, you know, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, but yeah, no, certainly, you know, the, the 49ers on the other side on the NFC. Um, you know, they're, they're a good team. We lost to them by 1.13-12. As you guys know, at the end of the game, we went for a two-point conversion to try to win it with no time left and uh, didn't get it, uh, went for the win. Uh, but, look, you know, I, I'm super proud of my kids. Um, you know, a lot of people say, hey, you got all these great players, all-stars, this and that. And, yeah, it's true. We, I have a lot of good players on my team. But the one thing that a lot of people forget, too, is, is my you're team young. is full of a bunch of nine-year-olds. Yeah, we, yeah. we have you're the, the youngest, youngest team. team in the 10U division, okay? Um, you know, we have one 10-year-old on our team, Joel Rembert. The rest of the team are nine, okay? And, and you know, people may believe it or not, there's a nine-year-old and a 10-year-old, yeah. okay? Double digits. Um, yeah, so, so for my kids to be able to perform the way they have throughout this season as a bunch of nine-year-olds is incredible, so I couldn't be more proud of them. Well, John, talk about who you brought with you tonight. Yeah, so like I said earlier, Jakari Thomas. What uh, up, Jakari? He uh, plays uh, – he's our, our main rusher, plays a lot of rusher for us, also plays receiver. Um, Jakari's got a lot of speed. Uh, the one thing I'll say about Jakari is when Jakari gets going, the team gets going. He's kind of like the, the that life pump of blood that, that gets it going The for straw us. that stirs a drink. Yeah, yeah. So, and, so there's a, and there's a lot of kids like that on the team, but he's he's one of them. Well, I think – and, and, and I've known Jakari since he's actually about five years old. I coached him way back when. So, he was a great player then. He's still a great player today. Well, I think <laughs> I think Jakari also plays a lot of emotion. I see him – I see when he – Makes a big sack, you know. He he's into it, and that gets the whole team. I mean, he had a big sack in the Raider game right at the end. Um, on that first down, he got back there, pulled the flag. I mean, it got crazy. The crowd got crazy. You got Charze and Sean going crazy on the fence. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it. So tell us about it. Tell yeah, Jakari. And Jakari likes about, to, Jakari likes to flex when he, he makes does. a big play too. Talk, talk about your game, Jakari. We just beat Paulin. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your do you, are you, you again as coach coach John said you've made some big plays defensively which do you prefer offense or defense defense why cuz i like pulling flags i like it what's your be, do you have a good celebration for pulling flags or is it always just it your go to move is the flex flex is that it do you have anything else that you're going to pull out for the playoffs you got something special that's it what all right we got to be careful of that because we got called for uh, Look, unsportsmanlike it's, it's, when we did that. <laughs> uh, yeah, anybody who calls that, that that's, that's no Real, fun. Where? Here? In Ocala? Well, oh, no. Let's, oh, okay. Well, we no, don't want to uh, no, no, go no, into your no, tournament no, no, stuff. No, no, was no, that no. against the Raiders? No, it was against the Raiders. So, so again, you guys want to talk about how, how I got calls that they game. They flagged a <laughs> okay. backflip. We, we scored to make the game 20-18 to 18 in the second half, and I announced I'm going for a two-point conversion. SJ, who just scored a touchdown, does a backflip. In the end zone. Keep in mind, there's seven minutes left in the game. They call an unsportsmanlike penalty on us because he did a backflip in the end zone, which is a loss of down, which meant it negated our attempt. Wow. That's a so that so that put on. us that put us in a position where now we had to score another touchdown. You know what I blame that? So on? again, you League guys want to talk about the dive, this and that? How about that? How about the That's four a, timeouts they got? So, so Jakari. Okay. So what is your <laughs> celebration? <laughs> For when you when you do something, but John Ivory gets all the calls. That doesn't get a 15-yard penalty. What? What? What's your? What? You got to tell me. I want you to call your shot right now. What are you going to do for a celebration when you pull a flag? Just got the flex, man. Yeah. All right, I love it. You, you, you got to speak. That. Speak up. Say that again. You, 
All right, good. The Niners are in the house. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, all right, Jakari. Yeah. You're going to win it all? Eight. How many? Oh, you got Six. Dang. Wow. Uh, hey, <laughs> hey, Kari. Jakari. I don't even have six Who, rings. Who's, who's a better athlete, you or Mari? Me. You, That's the right. When range. you get older, you're way better than he All is. thanks to my mom. Oh. oh. <laughs> Shout out. Look, somebody's so, getting ice cream. Yeah, wow. Hey, keep it going. The more, the nicer you are to her, the more things you get. Amen to that. But once I tell her about all that cussing you were doing this weekend. <laughs> all right. So all right. What, what if I do it right now? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Get all out right, of guys, here. Get Good out luck here. this weekend. We're going to get the 49ers in here. Yeah, again. let's do it. Uh, one, one quick time. We haven't talked about the AFC side at all. Um, well, that was I'm the sorry, AFC the side. NFC yeah. side with the, the Niners leading the way. Yeah, um, I, I mean, you know, here's the thing. We watched the Panthers in uh, we watched the Panthers and the Dolphins play last week. Remember that was that was that one was a of, fun game. Yeah, and I, so so I think down the line, you know, again, I, I've said this from the, the jump, the, the records are out the window. They don't matter. There's a, there is so much talent in this 10U comp division that it, it could go either way. Now, we're sitting here. Who, who we got here? We got Jerome, right? Gerard, Gerard Williams. My bad, Gerard. <laughs> Gerard. Coach Williams, how I, are who, you? Who you got with you here? Undefeated. Let me, let me introduce them properly. The right. undefeated yeah. 10U comp 49ers, number one seed in the AFC. Yeah. Coach Williams, welcome. Yes, welcome, welcome. Well, who do you got with you tonight? I got Case and Saints. My Case? My defense, the MVP. I love it. Love I love it. it. Talk a little bit about this team and how in the world did you stay undefeated in this incredibly competitive division? Well, first I did. I, when we, I never did flag before, so once they told me flag, you know, I I sat back and just thought about, like, who the players I can use for flag, like, because I came from tackle ball. So I kind of So it started recruiting. I yeah, I knew what team I wanted to come when I came into this league because I was already just off a championship off another flag competition. So I kind of knew what I wanted and went for what I got, and it's just been victorious ever since. And, and you know, from watching your team uh, and watching the chemistry you have with the kids, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to be straight. Like, you guys have a – you guys come out with just a different attitude. You, I mean, you guys are dancing. You're a high five, and these kids are e energetic. Yes, sir. Um, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a yeller, man. I'm a, I'm a hard <laughs> at, you know. I'm, I'm on my kids constantly. Right. And you guys are so loose with your guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know, obviously, there's time to coach hard. Whatever, right. right. But that's the one thing I notice about you and your guys. You're mm -hmm. so loose, and you're got, man, you tell them to do something. Mm -hmm. You know, I was watching you, you know, uh, coach you, the quarterback, tell him, and he, he's looking in the huddle. He's got, he's like, yep, 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 yep. Right. And you're telling him the last instruction. He's like, got it. Right. Goes out, makes a play. And you're like, that's what I told you to do. <laughs> right. I'm like, man, you know, someone. There's a coach who's really in tune with his right. players. So, right. and, and you probably have the best quarterback in the division. Oh yeah. In that, without a doubt. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, and his nickname's Fat Boy. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> I can relate to that. That's awesome. But who do you got That's tonight? your nickname as well. Uh, well, it's more like short, fat, bald guy. Uh, but uh, who do you got? Uh, with me today? Yeah. Kaysen. I got Kaysen, Kaysen Saints. All right, Kaysen. You're, he, you know, Coach talked about your defense, but what is your favorite position to play? Safety. Safety? You like blitzing or you like making picks? I never blitzed in flag. You don't blitz? You just blow people up with a flagpole. You, you just back there rovering? How many, pi how many picks you got this year? So many you can't count, Can't huh? even count. Can't, too high. <laughs> what, what is the key to your team being undefeated? We listen. Yeah. We, uh... That's a good start right yeah, there. Absolutely. What we're going to do? We're going to practice what? We work as a team. This is hard. Yeah. It's hard, isn't it? Next time you're watching TV and there's some <laughs> NBA guy being interviewed, you're like, man, that is yeah. hard. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but, again, it's the basics, right? Right. And it's that team. Right. But you also play a lot of wide receiver, don't you? Yes, sir. Yeah, you're, you're, you're fast. <laughs> what position do you play in tackle? I play at receiver and a little bit of linebacker. All right. Do you enjoy flag more than tackle? A little bit. A little bit, yeah. just because you score more. <laughs> Coach Williams. Yes, sir. What's it going to take for the Bengal or for the Bengals? For you to beat the Bengals is important, but for the 49ers to to get the ring. Gotta, hey, we got to stay at it. Well, hey, like we started from day one, we're gonna 
practice how we play, so I start in practice. So, does your philosophy change since your first game? Is that half game? It's that, just a you know, it's a it's a shortened game. Does it change at all? Well, I think now that we're more systematic than when we first started. When we started, it was kind of rocky, mm -hmm. but now that we've been practicing and all the guys really know each other, so. It, we're, we're really systematic now, so. Yeah, and I, th I think that, uh, you know, Greg talked about it earlier. You know, when you coach tackle, mm -hmm. you get you get two hours a day for a week, oh, yeah. four or five yeah. weeks before yeah. you even see Jay oh, yeah. Marie, and then you oh, got yeah. another two weeks. So, oh, yeah. you know, in here you got two weeks. Right. You know, I know you knew the kids right. from tackle and whatever, right. but, like to, it, it, but you didn't know. Right. You had to come in come and say, in. okay, what right. are they doing, doing this, my right. blitz, and how, what kind of yes. defense. Yes, definitely had to learn. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I think the, the growth from the teams from right. week one to now, I mean, you're probably – going to see it now you're going to play oh, the yeah. vikings uh, you know i'm going to assume you're going to play the vikings in this first round oh yeah that's um, what it would be uh, the 12 minute half so it's only a half game right. does that does that concern you at all you prepared well, your team for that we just experienced that in a um, travel in so a travel, oh, where, where'd so. you end up where'd you guys go was this at weekend? spring hill oh yeah we made it all the way to the championship oh uh, it, it's a different yeah. thing right yeah. it's you know that's why yeah. i try telling these guys like it, when you go into these these tournaments, mm -hmm. you basically have five possessions, oh, six yeah. possessions at max to nah, score. You, we had two possessions. Really? Like one game we had two possessions, and one game we had like three possessions. Yeah. And, and, and it, how important it is to get the to win the toss. Oh, oh yeah. man. Usually it's not. No, you don't care. You want that. You better yeah. win the toss. We you better win that yeah. toss. We want the ball. We're Changes grinding the, the clock game. down. So, you know, we, oh, yeah. you know it, it, there's a lot of stuff to it. And, and I, there are so many short games in this division because yeah. of the number of teams. Right. Uh, coaching is going to matter in this division oh, yeah. more than yep. any other. Oh, yeah. So, Coach Williams, pick Matt Moser's brain a little bit oh, geez, uh, don't pick <laughs> after we do this. But um, gotcha. congratulations yeah. on the number one seed, oh, yeah. and uh, oh, yeah. good luck this weekend. Oh, yeah. and I hope you guys get a lot of hardware tomorrow yeah, night out at WEC. Oh, yeah. We can. We'll see you tomorrow night. Yes, sir. See Coach Gerard Williams, oh, yeah. the we 49ers, <laughs> congratulations. Yeah. You know, again, Galen, I just, you know, I know, I know John's giving me this eagle stare over there. But I, <laughs> but there, there's two things about this division. Number one, I don't, I don't really think that the, everybody understands that this Bengals team is a 9U huh. team. Oh, yeah. They're coming, you know. You know sure. So, so in, in to, to try to win these divisions in your first year, you know, it, it's very difficult. I mean, I know I've done it a bunch, but um, it's very difficult to do. Um, so I, I think that's the, the thing to look at. And this Niners team is just, man, they're well oiled. They execute. They do their thing, man. All right, so that's, now we're going to switch over the 10U girls. All right, let's get the girls Come over on, here. Coach Antoine. Come on. So, so uh, again, this girls division, it's new this year. Yep. I'm kind of excited at it as we look at it. The Ravens are the number one seed. And then it's the Chiefs and the Seahawks. We've seen both of those teams play yep. already, the, the Seahawks getting that win. And then the Eagles are the four seed, and the Eagles are who the Ravens are going to play first. Yeah. And uh, we got Coach Antoine. Coach Antoine Brown. Welcome, welcome. Uh, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Who um, you got with you? And uh, uh, we'll start there. Okay. First, I'm coming with my daughter, uh, oh. Angelica Brown. She's Angelica. A, quite of a defensive player. Yeah. And how we feel about them Eagles? You know, they got a very, very good uh, – Running back and a defender. Uh, I know a last name is, I think. Uh, as long as it's not a Pinkney. Oh, no. I think <laughs> her last name. Oh, that. my God. Her last name is, uh, I know she's, uh, what, what's her last name? Your cousin? What they call her? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> what, what a great, that, that seems like I, that's something but I would ask is, my daughter. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> she's, real, she's real scary. You know, she's developed. She made the All-Stars. And, you know, she's Roundtree. That's the last That's name. it. Oh, okay. 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 Yep, yep. Roundtree for the Eagles. Yeah. Oh, man, you got to watch Her brother it. plays. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. She has a lot of talent in the family, so Well, there's respect. a lot of talent in your family. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, you know, much respect. On. Much respect. And I just want to say something to Coach Brown and his kid. We, we added uh, AJ to our team for this weekend. The most res super respectful family. The kids are so well behaved. The, the, even th from all the ages, they're, they're just they're filling all these, these travel teams. The co mom and dad are their support, and it's 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 oh, it's, it's amazing, great. It's man. I really appreciate thing. that, yeah, coach. We, you know, I really appreciate but, that. You know. But tell me, so who's who's your big competition? Obviously, you've played all these teams, right? Who who, who what's team on this list? I mean, who do you look at and say, man, I'm really worried? Because I mean, we we've, we've watched all these teams. We have, and, we, we, and this to me, as far as the girl, as far as any of the divisions go, whether it's four, six teams, eight teams, whatever, 
this, this, this. You know, I, I don't want to sound weak. I'm going to ask, you know, yeah. who who you think, baby Who you girl? worried about the most this week? What team you worried about? Is the, the Seahawks. Oh, my goodness. You beat them uh, twice. You know, and beating a team a third time is hard. Who, who did you guys lose to? Well, you know, to make you no know, things fair, you know what I mean. We uh, the first couple of five games, you know, since it's a small division, you know, we went five and zero, oh, you know, and I basically wanted to play the girls that really don't get that much playing time. Okay. You know, I wanted to spread love. You know, I always kept a promise gotcha. with the parents from the gotcha. day beginning, from the beginning of practice, that you know I'm a fair player. You know, I'm a fair coach. You know, I like to. Let kids. You pay your money. You sit right. and play. And it's you know? the, and it's girl. We're trying to build it. Exactly. We don't want they, nobody to lose we interest. Want them, we want them to come. We want them to learn. You I know? love it. We want the parents to take good videos of them. You know right. what I mean? So, you know, I had the, the games we did lose was to the Eagles. You know, and I specifically let the parents know. I notified the parents. Let them know. Hey, you know, it's time to let the little girls play. You know, yeah. we don't beat every team so far, which is only three teams in our division. Because this isn't true ten U, right? It's like you got some eight year olds, eight, eight years younger, old, seven right. years old. You know, right. you, you like, even you got six years old. You know, and there are this wow. I mean, for the Seahawks, they got this one little girl. She's wow. Oh yeah. Once we, she we gets the ball, she, yeah. this, this oh, little she, girl she's is gone. gone. Yeah. She's gone. And my my best player, you know, Trinity Brown. She looked at me. She was like, Coach, uh, you wasn't storing. She's fast. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like. Well, I told you, you know, don't let it get to the outside. So, But you heard it from the player itself, the biggest team they fear is Seahawks. And as a coach, they are very good. Yeah, I think when we watch the when we watch the Seahawks play, they're very organized. Very organized. Miss Nikki over there, Coach Nikki and Coach yeah. Jazz, they are doing a good thing. They're and they're also sure. very good uh, all-star coaches, you know right. what I mean? And like I said, they did an amazing job with the girls up there in Jacksonville for their first tournament ever. Oh, really? Took yes, yeah. they did. That's as, a cool experience. You know, which she everybody – no, she doesn't play on the All Stars. It's the first year, you know. She's my defensive player, you know. Yeah. And you know, we just keep her, you know, pulling flags, you know. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but by the way, that's what that, you make a good point. What you want to do as a good coach is set them up for success. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Make it one step at a time, right? Exactly. And yes, sir. How do you do? You like pulling flags? Yes. Is that your favorite thing? Yes, I asked my dad to. Can I pull flags? All talk, right. Do you louder. do you like the blitz? Is she yeah. in the blitz? No, she's not a brusher. She's more of a uh, contained outside rusher. How you many know? picks do you have then? You have a lot of interceptions? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> she's telling you you got a thousand flags so, pulled, though. So, talk how this is your first year playing flag. Mm-hmm. Talk about the experience. I mean, it, is it better than you thought it would be? Yes, it's fun and uh, um, it's not like uh, all about like um, winning or losing. It's about like having fun. Yeah. And um, I like make new friends and stuff. That's awesome. And That's awesome, man. How, I love to well, play. I, how, how fun is it to play for your father, though? Um. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all, hey, I'm, it's nothing. It's nothing. I ain't nothing like. Look, we've all coached our sons. Yeah, uh, and, and daughters. Even yeah. daughters. But, but, but is, it, is it fun to see your dad in a different aspect than, you know, just at home dad? Is, it, is he a different yep. person as a coach? Yes. Is he more demanding? What, what, what's the difference? He's, like, um, he's fun and funny, and um, he, like, like just teach us what we have to know for the games. What's the did you is there any lesson that you learned this season that you like oh that was that was neat? Um no. No? <laughs> well I can answer that for her. She yeah. learned how to catch. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> Tell her she learned how to catch, you know, and I'm very proud of her, you know. A lot of kids, a lot of girls, you know, a lot of kids, even boys, they can't catch on a run. Yeah. And that's the biggest problem, you know. Sure. So I teach them how to catch on a run, you know, and that's that's the biggest problem. Like I said, I have the best best group of girls that, that no yeah. coach can ask for for the first year. Trinity Brown, my quarterback, Anna, uh, RCL and Mar- Miranda, uh, Miranda, if I'm saying it right, but I call her Anna. She's my neighbor. Man, but, this girl is an absolute stud. You know, I got Lexi Corsby. She's very good. I got Brooklyn Nunn. Very good. I got three, actually four girls that's right now in the All-Star that I'm very proud of, you know, and I couldn't ask for more. A- Angelica, how old are you? Nine. Nine. Wow. And, and let me ask you this: You know, do you have, do you do any other sports, or or is this the first thing you've ever done? Do you this cheerlead is, or anything? Yes, I I cheer in in like in ICY as well. Yeah. Um, I cheer for Pee Wee Kings and Pee Wee. Okay. 
Peewee nice. Hurricane. I love now, it. Does does this give you the moment? I was in the last question here. Are you? Do you think you can? You're going to come back and play next year again? Yes. And do you think this is something that you might want to play in high school? Because because um, girls' flag is really popular in high school. Is this something you want to take to high school or? Yes, I can take it to high school. See, and that's what it's about, man. It's that's about what I tell you. I mean, if, you know, the, time, the girls' game is, is about to really take over. And, and exactly. I, and, you exactly, know, thank man. you, coach, for bringing your kids on and coaching these girls, man. I know it's it. And you know, the thing about a a, a co is he's got sons. Think about a guy coaching girls like you don't understand. The, yeah. These young ladies haven't played the amount, right. the, the reps that the men See, have. Yeah, and that's also have. that's also to come and look at it that you know you know we do this for the community. You know what I mean? Me and my wife, uh, Miss Stephanie Brown. You know she's the head coach for a 15 year girls team. You know, and we both both coach three teams. You know yeah. we have that's the 14, amazing. 14 year boy Ravens, 15 year girl Ravens, and 10 year girl Ravens. You know, and we we practice together. You know, we as one, we as family. And we're going to always be that way. And that's the way I teach the kids. It's family. It's about Love having it. fun. Love it. You know? Coach Antoine Brown, congratulations you, on being the I number really one seed. You, man. Good I luck really this weekend, Coach man. No, thank you, you for everything, man. Thank yeah, you so thank much you. We, we love Good you luck. and your family. You, you guys are awesome. Great people, man. Thank you all. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let, let's see how they do this this uh, yeah. this season coming up. And, it, and you know, Galen, I tell you, we've, we've, we've covered these girls' games. And this, this to me, this division, you know, it, it's the Ravens to lose. Uh, but – I'm really interested in that Seahawks Chiefs game. You know, we had that game early that was, um, you know, it was just a couple plays either way, right? Um, it'd be interesting to see how that goes. So I'm uh, looking forward to that one. That's going to be an exciting one. Well, and that brings us up to our next level where we're going to talk about the 12U rec. rec division. It's a division you and I have covered a couple of times this yeah. season. And, you know uh, my thoughts on this division. I do. And, and let's just get straight to it. Let, let's go straight to the, I, I mean, the dude I, of the hour, listen. Brintley Ant, uh, Anthony. Listen, um, I've been telling him. This, I almost said Brintley Allen. I, I which want, is, yeah, I, I think want, I probably did. That, I want so. to see his team play these comp teams. I did. I, we, we do. We scrimmaged them. We actually scrimmaged a couple of the comp teams throughout the, the practice. Yeah. Um, I honestly believe in my kids, and, and we're, we're actually going to go with the all-pro team this year or an all-star team, and um, I'm going to add a couple to it, and we're going to go in the competitive division. Love it. Division, Love so. it. This is your quarterback. What's yes. his name? Nolan Hansen. Nolan Hansen. And, and you dominated this regular season. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you come in as the number one seed. Are you concerned about the, the playoffs at all? You're, you're starting off with the Jets. I, absolutely not. Uh, honestly, I, <laughs> wow. I, I, I'm just being wow. honest with you. If my kids play to their potential and the way that they play and they listen, yeah. if you watch my games, any one of my 12U games, I don't be yelling at them. It's always, ma'am, I call the play, and they're on the ball. They're running the play. You, they're back to the ball. You are less animated as far as getting on their, getting on them yeah. in this division than Absolutely. you are with your 14, 15 U teams, and, for and sure. And the 14, 15, they're a little older. They can take right. it a little bit more. But. but, but you know, I feel like the chemistry that I see you with this team, it, it's, it's like I was telling. Uh, they listen. The 49ers coach, I forget, uh, Williams. Coach Williams. You know, they, they got this. Swag, this camaraderie, oh, like it's it's just a different feel when you see this team together compared to again these other teams where maybe you got a click of you know these three guys like each other. Your whole team no, absolutely. is one unit, man. We I, I loved watching y'all's game. I mean, it was again you played Nile, you beat the crowd. He, now Nile's been telling me all week, oh I got something oh, for him, yeah, and I'm eight, like, you ain't got 50 points of something no, for him. No, 84 to 30. I mean, you oh, can't. Somebody, yeah, somebody, yeah. You, somebody went back and. You know, and, and you know, we mic'd up. I had a guy keep a count on the side. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we had you mic'd up uh, for the game, and there was just some real nuggets, I think, that we got out, and, and, and you gave us some real insight. Oh, I did. I called all my plays, and I will never get mic'd up again during a uh, game. It's fine. I'll just play. Nah, I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, if, if, and by the way, they still have to stop it. Exactly. Yeah, right? Absolutely. But, but and we changed it. We changed talk about it. Talk about your team's growth over the season. Are you concerned about that because you were playing people that were just not as good as you are on paper? No, absolutely not. Because at the end of the day, these guys, they practice against my 14 and my 15 U team Got every it. practice. So, like, you know, they get that competitiveness every, every time they step onto that practice field. So, you know, as far as the, the development, oh, man, I'm, I'm amazed by the way that they have taken my plays and just been able to elevate them. And being able to see the holes and, and 
and making the decision that this kid makes, man. It, it's amazing. So, well, yeah. talk about your quarterback a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, Nola Hanson, man. I, I actually got him like two years ago and um, – Maybe three. I don't know. I can't remember. He's been playing me for playing uh, how old are for you? me for a while. I'm 13. So um, as far as <laughs> he's recruiting, as far as the decision maker, um, he man, he's he's on it, and, and it's fast, you know. And he he loves to support his team. It's never me. It's never Nolan. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's always going to give that credit to the next person. So I love that about. So him. so Nolan, talk about this team a little bit. I mean, you guys were dominant in the yeah. regular season. Um, first day of practice, I knew that we, we had a chance to come out here and win the Super Bowl. And working together as a team every practice, coming here, putting in the work in, and just coming together to win games is what we need. Do you enjoy offense more than defense? 100%. All right, that's the right yeah, answer, yeah, isn't it, Matt? quarterback, man. I mean, what, what, all right, I'll ask this a different way. He's, had, a, he's had quite a few picks, too. I know. Time, so. <laughs> I think we saw, like, three. Yeah, yeah. Um, w w what is this team's? If there is a weakness, what is it? Um, listening. Sometimes we, we don't listen to each other enough or, or our coach sometimes. We have a couple problems that we need to fix, but we, we work together to fix those issues. And what we do to fix these issues, it makes us bond more. And playing in All-Stars, our, our bond and our playing together, it's going to help us a lot. Yeah, are you excited about that opportunity? I am. I, I like traveling, and being able to win while traveling feels a lot better, so, too. So you're going to go to 13U yeah. comp, comp. Yep. In, in the tournament, <laughs> and your first tournament is in Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Yep. So you're going to be there next weekend. Yep. And, and have you played in it? So you've played in some comp flag. Yeah. It's different, isn't it? Mm, yeah. That it's was my different. first year. It's, it's a lot faster. Man. It's lot faster. just a different game. I mean, they call it different. The speed is different. And it seems like it just comes at you so fast. So let's stay right here at the Marion County flag, 10 U or 12 yeah. U rec. Are you concerned about any of these other teams, or um, is it just about you executing? No, it, it, that, honestly, it's about us executing. But you know, the the but the biggest thing is is you know honestly the first team I play is the Jets, and he was uh, the head coach is actually one of my old coaches, so I got a lot of respect for him. Oh yeah. Um, so you know, as so, far as that so game, so 80 to zero. No. <laughs> I well, like there's only I, 20. Listen, it's a half. I, listen, it's if a I half. played Greg Packwin, it was 80 to zero. It was nine. Not it, listen, the first the game was 90 to six, and and that won't ever happen again because as far as the respect for that coach, I won't try to run it up. Now I ain't gonna lie, the Patriots, I'm gonna try to run it up on. Well, them. that's, uh, that's well, like that, Nile. Well, that's run a, it up he's Nile. a Steelers guy. He yep. hates the Patriots. Yeah. yeah. But so. now let's talk about the game only being half as long in that first round. Are you worried, Are you about, worried about getting down quick? And or? honestly, yes. It, when it comes down to it, like if you get the ball first, you got to score. Yeah, because you, you know, may only it, get three possessions. Absolutely. So you know, my my biggest thing is you know I hope these kids got their rock paper scissors on on check and and win that football for us. You know, because yeah. you could slow that game down in that one well, half. You know, I don't slow any game. No, <laughs> but I mean you could. <laughs> well, yeah. and right? I and I because if I'm playing Matt, I'm limiting the number of times yeah. he touches the ball. No, right. absolutely. I, yeah, I think that's something you got to be aware of. Like you know, for him, obviously they're blowing everybody out, so. It, it, they don't have to worry about as much, but when you get in these games, in the you're com like, in the competitive division and right. go to All Star, yeah, it plays you, a big you can't. Fact. You're, you know, I mean, people are like, why are you always going on fourth down, man? I only get four of them. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah I mean, exactly I don't have right. the opportunity. That's Absolutely. where the first big decision will be made, and the Super Bowl could be won or lost right. on if you decide to go for it on fourth down and don't get it or do. Right. Absolutely. Because that's going to be a, one of those especially game in those twelve plays. minute, you know, those early yeah, round games. That's that's right. All right. Sweet. How you feeling? You good, Hanson? Uh, let me ask you. Uh, hey, let, let go, go, go ahead. Yeah, How you feeling good? Question. Yeah, I feel pretty good, but I just want everybody to realize y'all got a game one to worry about. So confidence is key, but too much of it, it's not. Uh, it'll take <laughs> you far in this humble. world. <laughs> Have any of your games been close in this division? No. Uh, 12 you no. Know. No. It's been 96, 74 to something, <laughs> 84 Coach Anthony's something. like, yeah. by the way, or you notice how he got <laughs> every number savant. exactly? <laughs> yeah. hey, go he check said, out my Facebook page. He, They're all yeah. posted by there. The way, according he, to Matt. He, I think he's 6-0, he's, he's, he's and oh, right? He's 6-0, yeah. and, oh, and he named six hey, scores, right. and he goes, or something like that. Like, we, we, I don't do, know them by yeah, heart. Cool. I don't we got go Rain bed. Man over here. I do, right. Hey, I do want to point out something. I did not, not call like the last mark. two timeouts in that Patriots game. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, no, I know. I, some, I said some, that. Somebody did. No, I did not do it. Somebody did, and I was not happy about it. The Steelers did not call that. So. All right. 
Coach Anthony. Good luck. Good luck. Yes, sir. Um, I, I'm excited about watching yeah, you guys play in the Super Bowl it. and I'll have you guys. Fun. And uh, you've been by far the most dominant team in this league. Honestly, so it's, don't lose. It's off, it's off of the you know the coach the players feed off of your coaching. So you walk in there with confidence. You walk in there with the, the mindset that you're going to win, and, and they'll execute it. So, And, and nobody's That's got it? more swag than him walking in with that boom box. <laughs> no, hey, no the, the boom box, is, it different. It hits hey, listen, different. And listen, when you don't know him, it's so annoying. You're like, well, oh, my God, by who the is way, this nerd? By the way, and I think we talked about on the broadcast, if you don't win, yeah, it oh, it's like, the worst. Look at this clown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look that, at this that, clown. That radio's hey, getting retired. And, and I'll, tell you, I'll tell you a funny story. I was coaching the Pee Wee Falcons. We played the um, – we played the Vikings with Stanley Jacobs, which was a dominant team back about five or six years ago. And in the first play, we caused a fumble. And one of my parents gave the kid a turnover change from the Vikings. And I'm going to go, get that out. We're about to lose 50 to zero. <laughs> and do not get the momentum. You're giving him a chain. It was 40 to zero at the end. I said, dude, don't we celebrate that. I'm like, oh, my. I was so pissed. Right? You should be. But anyways, when you're blowing everybody it. out. So. All right, Coach Anthony, get out of here. Yep. Good, luck for, Good luck to both weekend. of you guys. You. It was fun to watch you guys blow yeah. them out. Look no, Great to interview, you guys man. Sunday. Appreciate you. Have a great day. Yeah, yeah. you know what? I'm, we're not going to see the any 12U team until the Super Bowl. Yeah. Um, I don't know if uh, Coach Beasley is here from the Falcons. I think they are. Falcons. Falcons? Come on over, Falcons. I thought I saw somebody walk yeah, in. Yeah. But, uh, Maddie, that – by the way, you and I love confidence. Yeah, right. I, I mean, it, listen, it, and, it, and we'll have to talk about it with these guys because you know they're they're going to have to face them on, on the way there. And hey, um, good to see. You. And uh, Matt Mosier, what's your name? Julian. Nice Julian. Nice to meet you. And um, Trevino. Yeah, Coach um, Trevino. Who you got with you, Coach? Put your put your headphones on. Yeah. Right here. There you go. And and again, the the the. the the NFC side of this division, Matt, it's going to yeah. be fun. Oh, yeah. And, and we'll bring in Coach Beasley. Who do you got with you today, Coach? So I have, um, I would say, uh, the captain of our team, Caden Waters. Um, All, right. All right. Now, I haven't seen you guys play this year, but Caden, what, what position do you play? Quarterback? Uh, You're the captain. I don't know what that means, but what position do you play? I play uh, quarterback and wide receiver. All right. Nice. That's a good combo. Coach Beasley. Yes, sir. Tell us a little bit about your team. So, we're very well-rounded. Um, I want to shout out everybody on our team. Go we ahead. have a very, very talented team. It's not just Caden. We have Lake. We have Caden. We have Leon. We have a whole bunch of talented uh, players. And we feel like we're the best team in the NFC. And uh, we feel like we're the top dog. When it comes to the AFC, the Steelers are definitely the best <laughs> team in the, in the league. But well, we feel like we can compete with anything. Let's talk about it, too. On your, on your three losses, are any of those losses on the NFC side, or have you been just kind of dominating the NFC? Undefeated in the NFC. All Only right. teams we've lost to is in the AFC. Got and, it. Uh, so you've lost to the Patriots, the Steelers. Did you lose to the Dolphins? Yes, we lost to the Dolphins, but Caden was not at that game. Oh, ah, Caden. Okay. He also Caden. was not at the Steelers game. Got it. Do you, do you, now, now, obviously, you have pretty good confidence going on this bracket, right? Of course. You're gonna face the Steelers. What? What? Do you, I mean, do you got something cooking for them? Are, have you been, Have you been in the lab with your coaches, being like, man, this is what we have to do to take them away. We got to look at this, look at that. What? What are your thoughts there? He, that guy right there, yeah. has not seen him. He hasn't seen Kata. So. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Weapon. Yeah. So, no, Kaden, how does that make you feel being the secret weapon? It feels great, honestly. Yeah. I mean, they, they just don't know what's coming. So, what is coming? You could tell us. Yeah. I mean, what I, I mean when you say he's been <laughs> in the lab and you got special plays, do you? First of all, you got to get through your side of the bracket, right. right? Yeah. Um, is there anybody in the NFC NFC that you're worried about, or are you just we got to get to Sunday? We got to get to Sunday. I'm not too worried about the um, the NFC side, really. Okay. If we like play our hardest and like lock in and not not get too cocky, I think we're gonna be good. What is the key to your success there? Uh, just playing hard, manic aggression. And, and, and defensively, there's th 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 it's everything, right? What type of defense do you guys play? Because we, we usually know something about some yeah, of the other we, teams. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get to see you guys this year. We like to spread it out. Um, I like to make sure that all our kids are on the same – pretty much all the kids are on the same playing field. Everybody's on the same page. But sometimes some kids aren't as talented as others, so I try right. to keep them balanced. So sometimes I have Caden take up a more of a role, making sure that kids are where they're supposed to be at. 
And that's what he's that's what he's not all. That's what a captain's supposed to do. That's exactly. what the quarterback does. Yeah. Exactly. And, and again, so defensively, do you do, you do man? Do you do zone? What is your what is your? We mix it up. We do a little bit of everything. Hey, he's oh. not he's not he's he's, he's not letting he, he's not letting nothing go. Hey, and, and let me let me tell you guys something right now. What's up? So a couple a couple years ago, I was coaching my kids in this league. Mm -hmm. and it's Matt we, Moser story time. Yeah, and we were three and four. We were like way at the bottom. And we faced two undefeated teams sure and won the Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh. So, and, and the team that we beat was similar to this. Like, they were blowing everybody out. So, listen, man, as, as a coach to coach, right, you're in the lab. You, you get confidence. You're, 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 you're sitting there going, you know, it, it's Super Bowl day. And I'm going to tell you right now, when, when, when the Super Bowl hits and all these playoffs hit. It's different. The nerves tighten. It's different. You know, those guys making those one-handed catches, they're not making those on Sunday. You know, it, everything tightens up. The coaching tightens up. It's, you can can cut the tension with the knife and if and I feel like you know man you guys make a good run through your bracket show them they're Anything gonna be like ah happen. crap man you know this so coach Beans are you worried about the the half a game especially coming out against the Bears no the only thing I'm worried about is only way I feel like we could lose is that we beat ourselves I, honestly I feel like all the games that we've lost we just beat ourselves really? it's our team just Giving up on giving up on themselves, or, yeah. or it'll. For example, we played the Dolphins. We shut them out the first half. Second half, and we did this without Caden. We shut out the Dolphins the first half. Second half, they just gave up, mm. stopped trying. So mm. it, it, it comes down to we can blame coaches, we can blame playbooks, we can blame everybody, right. we can blame mom, we can blame dad. Kind of got to take some responsibility and play hard, no matter who you're playing. The Bears, yeah. Eagles, Saints, Steelers. Can't do that junk against the Steelers, no, nope. because they're gonna beat you. I, so, I would take five effort guys over five pure skill guys any day. Sure. You know, I mean, the guys that quit. I mean, I got players on my team. I, I you've, we've seen them, man, super athletic, right? And then they just, oh, they make one bad play and they're in their in their head and they're out of the game. Exactly. So it, you got to think. I, I'm telling you right now, one play at a time. You make a bad throw, you're gonna throw the ball 25 times this weekend. Let it go. One bad play. Don't let one bad play define your weekend. Yeah. Even if you get blown out. Just yeah. play. Just finish the game. Don't quit. So, exactly. Coach Beasley, why why are you doing this? Why are you a coach? I, I really love coaching. Um, so, for the past three, four years, I've been kind of just stuck in my career, stuck in my job, just so focused on what I'm doing that I haven't really had a chance to give back to these kids and I teach like them things and help them develop so that they can get to the next level and get to that next coach. That's really all I care about is helping kids see what they could be or if they have any future dreams of going to the NFL, maybe I can help or step in or, or get you oh, to I, the right person. Is this your yes. first year coaching here? Yes. Wow. Yeah, I just gonna, moved here in December. Are you coming back next year? Of course. That's awesome. Now, you are you going to coach tackle? Or? I want to. I'm, I'm a free agent. So. I'm pretty sure. Listen, we, there's a, there's lot, a of, lot in this room. There, it, you, listen, you start talking, you, you – Okay. Say, come to Co the villages. Coach Davis can't coach, but he can recruit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's honestly the so, worst coach. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We've already established No, that. why are you so good? I don't know. I surround K myself with so good Kate, people. So, we'll, Kate, we'll finish with you. Falcons, um, how are you going to get it done this weekend? I'm just going to play my best and, like you said, play to the end and win the Super Bowl. Awesome. Oh, Where do you go man. to school? Love Osceola. It. Beautiful. How, how old are you? 13. You hang out with Jake and them, Kaiser, at Osceola? Uh, some, sometimes, yeah. 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 He's Matt's just looking to recruit. That's all he's up here doing. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, Coach Beasley, Kate, good luck. Dude, that was good great. Luck. It was so nice meeting you good guys. Good luck. Sir, thank you. Th we'll, that 12 we'll see you guys on Saturday. playoffs is going to be Sunday. a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I'm excited about it, I and am. I wish you guys the best of luck. Thanks, um, one more time, just going through it. Maddie, nice, nice I, I think this is going to be – Thank you, Coach. It's yeah, an honor. I mean, I mean, we're cool. sitting. Hey, listen, we're sitting here crowning the Steelers. We haven't seen them play. Who knows? You know, I, I'm I'm gonna echo this all night, Galen. It's um, man, the kids are out there knocking chairs over. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna echo this. Anything can happen. You have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, uh, you know, on day who we got up next? Nile. Nile, let's go. Niall, we're going to talk about the tw – if I could find it. There it is. 12U comp. We're going to talk about the 12U comp with uh, probably the most overrated coach. Yeah, definitely the most annoying coach. Overrated coach in the league. Um, this, is, this is one of those teams that I think everybody's a little huh? afraid of. 
Oh, I'm, that's that's all right. Johnny will get us. Yeah. Did no, you no, break the headphones? I don't want to. I don't want to. All right, here we go. We're ready. Look. All right, Matt Moser, Galen Yudel, joined by the head coach of the 12U Comp Jags from the AFC, Niall Davis. Coach Davis, it's an honor and a privilege to have you join us here tonight. Yeah. yeah. It's a privilege to be here. It's a privilege to be here. Now, now I'm going to get right into it. Has there been a game this year that you haven't put the score limit on somebody? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> it, do you think that's going to change this weekend? I plan on ending every game before the half. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Dude, you got to save your strength. Well, who'd you bring with you today? I got my boy Kingston Henson, Henderson here. Kingston, put down. Kingston's pretty good. Yeah. Kingston, how are you tonight? We've talked to you a couple of times. Yeah. You're a pretty good cameraman. Yes, sir. But you're a much better football player. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. So what do you think about this Jags team? I think it, we really good. Like, we ain't going to be stopped. Just period. Done. Well, and and it, you're not worried about, like, the, the Seahawks or anybody else in your division. It's all about you. Yeah, like, just get on a popcorn already. <laughs> By the way, we, we've talked about it. This may be the most outside of the the, the Steelers yeah, this is on the, the competitive team. level. Look this it, is the best team Y'all stop out here. The Steelers are roses, man. That, that, that's, that's not a that's not a, that's not a. We're not talking book. about that. We're not we're talking, talking about that. You just, he just brought it we're up. We're talking about 12U he, he comp. Just, look, he just brought it up. <laughs> he just brought it up. It's 12, not a closed the 12U book. They're going to have to play on Saturday. <laughs> The Steelers are going to have to play a game on Saturday. The 12U Jags. Uh, <laughs> Niles, what do you got for this division? What do you're, I, you're only coaching like 87 teams. Yeah, yeah man. I, I, I mean, I, do you have – and this is a legitimate question. You also – I think you coach a, a tackle team. Yes. Do you have a job? Yes, I do have a job. All right. Because I, I don't know Two what it jobs, is. Two jobs, actually. Uh, you probably do. Yeah. You Because why not? You have seven teams yeah. you're coaching. Yeah, you know, you got to work like you play. That's right. <laughs> You you don't you don't play you just coach and yeah, work. Yeah, that's it. No, but but you are a big impact on this league overall. Not, we like to give you a lot of gruff, yeah. but the fact that you. you're willing to step up and mentor coaches is huge. Yeah, because like, a lot of people are scared to get into it, well, aren't they? Like like well, yeah, like well, like I said, like if I show somebody how to coach and how to be successful, like that's one less team I have to coach next year. <laughs> Like, you know. Oh, I thought you were just coaching all these teams to try to get a ring, man. <laughs> no, man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I, I went just as far as you last year. Oh. For where? For what? The whole season. Oh, you I You got know. third, I got third. Same thing. Oh, no, I'm talking about last year, regular season. Who got the ring, though? Who came home with the trophy? Oh, yeah. That, that, <laughs> I, I, I think Morocco got the ring last year. <laughs> oh. He went yeah, there. John Irish going to kick you off the air. <laughs> um, so, so I've apologized enough for that, too. Yeah. Why? I'm constantly apologize. You were right about no, it. No, he, 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 I was not. He, he insinuated my character. Oh, he picked on you. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I never watched wrong, it. Man. I didn't wrong. watch it. Oh, yeah. He, uh, he, he burned me. Right? Yeah. By the all, way, I, yeah, yeah, no. But he had wrong. you mixed up, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah. All I know is somebody on the sideline was acting like a complete and utter idiot, and John Ivory wouldn't give me any other information. So I was making it up. That's what I did. Yeah, they were texting me. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. He, I mean, him and I were talking to the whole thing. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know what is going on. Why, why, why are we not playing? By the way, we can't lay it at the feet of LaRocco. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, sure. right. He's not here I, I, anymore. Yeah, He'll text me here in about five minutes. Yeah. All um, right, well, let's get back to the Jags 12U comp team. Yeah, and I mean, I think that I think the Jags <laughs> team, uh, they, from top to bottom, the roster bet between between Kingston Henderson, between um, you know your boy, between Emery, Emery uh, Eli, Eli Duke, I mean Duke, yeah, Drake. Drake yeah. I, yeah, I mean, you guys are, are are stacked. I mean, there's you got all the speed, all the skill, and you got the coaching too, man. Yeah, and like like I said, like we're like, and that's why we did we stayed together, like we we faltered in the uh, championships last year. We should we like I feel like we should have won that, and like you know we were somebody jumping off sides. It's kind of hard to say you should have won something when you're score limited a minute into the second half. No, no, but no, that's no, fine. No, but no, that's no, fine. no, 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 no. I'm not talking about. Us. Oh, I'm, talking about I'm talking about the Pro Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, I agree. I'm, yeah, I, yeah, I, I where, yeah, we where, talked about where, that. Where, yeah. where, where, where we were right off sides jump. Right. We were on a two yard line. Got a got an offsides. Right. Backed us up third down. Missed the to 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 take the win. 
and like so I feel it, like we win that. And that's the thing I don't think a lot of people understand too is that your team is that travel team. You're, yeah. you're I mean, outside of Sherrod, this team has been together for a full season. That and you know, you and I talk about this all the time. I don't think these other coaches understand how how big that is. Yeah. What, I mean, you're taking them into tackle. I took my guys into tackle, and here we are. You know, and they go, oh. Why are you winning all the time? I, yeah. I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> Our kids stay I, together. Because I can literally look at my guys and do this. Right. And they know. They, they know exactly what to do. Yeah. And and if I do this, it might not be the same thing. They know this might need something different, like what, of what we just ran. So like you know, Absolutely. But that, that's what we've been together for two years. Like you know, pushing hard and and making things happen. So. Are you worried about anybody? No. What about you, Kingston? No, we. I mean, you're the fastest player out there. We ain't he even may be one of the fastest players in the league. Oh, yeah, for sure. We ain't even worried about the Seahawks. Whoo. Wow. Yeah, well, nice and, and there's no reason for you to. I mean, you're, you're an older team. You're a more experienced team at this point. Yeah. Um, again, that, that Super Bowl last year was great up until it just right. got mentally. It started good, it was, and then it, it got it, it, was, well, it was six to six, and then. You, you had a mental breakdown <laughs> on the, on the sideline. <laughs> that, that's what happened. I'm good with it. Yeah, <laughs> you know we, we beat them forty eight to twenty eight the game before that. I do, I do. <laughs> Too bad right. they didn't give out a trophy for that game. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, Kingston. I love now, man. Anything else you want to? I'm pretty sure that's my, Matt's only loss in flag football right. in the regular season. It is. So, I've been told by he's, Matt. Hey, he's the only one who's beat me in Ocala in three years. That's right. right. So Kingston, that's a fact. as we go into this that's game, true. what is your prediction for this Jags team? I mean, are you just going to set the tone and Steam roll. clock everybody? Yes, sir. It's How awesome. do you do it? Like, we're just going to set the tone. Like, if, if I'm, like, like, I'm hot, the whole team hot. That's, you, you are the straw that stirs the drink. Yeah, for sure. All right. I love it. Coach Davis. Niall, thank you so get much. Out of we here. love it. And, and, you know, as much as I rib Niall, I don't think people understand. We see each other every weekend. Yeah. So, we good well, luck. We're, good, we're, 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 if we're not winning, we're hoping y'all win, Appreciate man. It. We're hey, always there. And for the record, those Steelers are going to have to play a game on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love, uh, I, love I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But by the way, he's going to go to bed tonight <laughs> talking about that. Hey. You think I'm going to go to bed? Hey. Hey. <laughs> all, all I know is all I know is scoreboard. Scoreboard don't lie. Yeah. Scoreboard don't lie. Neither do I. All right. All right. Here Good we to go. See you, man. I'll see you sound, uh, Saturday. We're gonna go at the other side of the bracket here. We got the Seahawks. Um, Mr. Allen. Yeah. Rob Allen. And uh, looks like Bentley. Looks like Bentley's gonna show up here. Two big times. Uh, it gets more and more fun as they get older. Yeah. For sure. What's up, Allens? How are y'all tonight? Y'all feeling good about yourselves? Yes, sir. Bentley, we'll start with you. Oh, yeah. You're the quarterback of this Seahawks team. You know what it is. You know what it takes to win a ring in this. You've done it before. How do you beat the Jags? We'll start with an easy question. Hard work. Hard work. I love it. It's a good start. I mean, are you, are you worried about anybody else on their bracket? Not really. No. Just no. the Jags. Did you Are guys you coach? No, not really, honestly. Uh, I, 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 let's be honest here. Um, I'm, I'm worried about everybody. This is Super Bowl. It's anybody's game. Uh, you know, if these kids come out, they're ready to play, it's, uh, it, it could go our way from start to finish. But it's going to depend on the entire team and team effort and uh, how they want to kind of pull together offensively and defensively. And I think we have the squad to do it. Does it help that you've been there before? It does, uh, but these are going to be different teams. They're older, you know, so everything's going to be a little bit different. Yes, we did make it last year, you know, and the biggest thing I feel like is that we have receivers. We have, you know, a quarterback. We have a phenomenal, you know, um, uh, center. Offensively and defensively, these young men, they're ready to work. Um, you know, this has been our only game that we've lost this season. So I know they're really excited about getting out here and kind of making a statement. It's the only game you lost in two years, right? You were mm -hmm. undefeated. I mean, and, and, I, and just, just to, I mean, I know we're over here hyping up the Jags and Steelers, whatever. But listen, last year going to the Super Bowl, y'all were the underdog. Yep. By a wide, like everybody was like, oh, this Super Bowl. I'm telling you right now. Oh, I know. We, we, we were, I was hanging out the night before. The Super Bowl, and I was with with Lord and Zeddy's, you know, yep. who's on your team, and she's like, "Man, I'm so worried." I'm like, "What are you worried about? Like, who, you know, 
who knows what's going to happen. And they were sh- even the parents on the team were shocked. Like, yep. holy crap, we won this game, and nobody expected it. It was a great game. Came down to the final couple plays, which I mean, we won't pick on you for throwing that that ball right at the end. Almost <laughs> giving that. No, I, I, by the way, I think I said I'm like, you got it. Your job is to stop them. Yeah, but but anyways, um, you know, so anything can happen. And again, I said it earlier, you know. I've seen underdogs win these things. It, it, like, it throw everything off the window. This weekend's going to be insane. You guys have just as much shot. I mean, you got the court. You got you have the better quarterback. I'm going to say that right there. You have the smarter quarterback. Uh, well, I don't want to say smarter, but you got the more experienced season. Not well, he's stupid. been there and done that right. multiple times. Right. You got the times. more seasons quarterback. You play in tackle. You play in quarterback. You know, I feel like you have the advantage there. How are you going to stop Kingston? I mean, obviously that that's dude is fast. Absolutely. You got nobody really that's on his speed level. I mean, Bruton and Ash, they're, you know, they're fast, but they're not Kingston. So, how, you know, he's the one who really opened that game up there. Absolutely. It, when yeah. you guys play, he had the pick six and then he had the big run. What is your focus on stopping like, hey guys, let's just not let Kingston beat us or are you going to come back and say, "Hey, you know, are you going to blitz? That's a real question I want to wow, ask. Wow, you finally so, got there. I was yeah. wondering when you were going to get there. So, I'll be honest. So, uh, you know, a lot of people have seen the game that had happened that week, and we blitzed four times. All four times was a stop. Um, a lot of people don't understand that a lot of this coaching just is not with one game. This is an out-of-conference game. All right? This has nothing to do with scheduling-wise when it comes down to it. We did not want to give them, and, and again, forgive me for this, but we are talking to Matt Mosier here, all right? And I've learned a Look lot from this Allen. young man. Hey, this is why I got into this game is oh, because boy. of him. And, and again, Jeez. you know, Bentley with, you know, with him being able to kind of pick things apart, he has the receivers that have that bond and everything else with him. If we sit here and say, yes, we're going to stop one player, I feel like I failed at that point, you know, as a coach. I feel like I need to go ahead and let these young men do what they do best, play the sport, have fun. They have the chemistry. Um, you know, we have K2, which is one of the biggest ballers out there for receivers. Uh, Baby, uh, Lauren Zetti, um, Logan, Logan Mann, Man. uh, Bryson Waylon Lauren Jones. Zetti, Waylon Jones is center. A lot of people also don't understand this group, a majority of them are all 10 and 11 years old. We have yeah. two kids that are 12. They're young. Um, so we are very young. But at the end of the day, you know, this is an older group. Um, they're very talented. Uh, they have a phenomenal coach as well. But I feel like we have what it takes to be able to take it all the way. Um, and I think that's what it's really going to take at the end of it all. And you've beat everybody on the NFC side, right? Absolutely. No yes, sir. I mean, you blow them all out, right? Yes, sir. Who, who are you worried about at all in the NFC? Nobody. Uh, you know, I, I'll be honest. I, again, here we go. Uh, the Lions are <laughs> are a really good team. Uh, Josiah Roundtree <laughs> you hear is that? a really the good, <laughs> a really good well, team. Choking on my gum there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. But, no, we have uh, Josiah Roundtree that is uh, – he's a really good quarterback. He has the arm, the accuracy. I, I was privileged to be able to coach him this year and tackle. Um, he's, he really is. He's a great, co- uh, great kid. Um I feel like that's going to be the team, really, that we're going to have to stop. But if, as long as these guys come out, Bentley utilizes his receivers. Willen has, you know, all the, uh, the perfect snaps that he typically has every game. And all my kids break down. Uh, Fundamentally-wise, I think we have it, you know. But it's, it's going to be, I think, a game to the end. Um, and, and something here for Mr. Nile, you know. We're not going to have that fast-paced game. We're going to slow it down. Slow down. I you like know, it. That, that whole Smart. less, less pace, you know, lot. and all that. I think that's really – where it's going to get us, you know, more of that, uh, more yards, you know, and so forth. We're just going to pick it a play, well, pick it apart. We got and, seven downs to do this. And that, and that's Don't something. That's something that I would really, I, I, I'm interested to see how Super Bowl weekend goes because the refs this year have allowed these other teams that go so fast to snap the ball before, yep. and we're set. The, the, the line, the, the, is the set. blitz we, line, we is talked set. about yep. this. Yep. So they're at four and five yards. Right. So yep. I, I hope that's a point of, you know, yep. I know in my games when I get. To, you know, down to our game. I'm like, hey, we're slowing the game down. You know, I, you know, I like to go fast, yep. but like, let's get everybody set and then go. I, yep. I, I, it's, it yep. sometimes it's chaotic. And, I, and I'm typically a no huddle type of person, sure. right. you know. So, and a lot of people don't understand. I typically, you know, and I'll be honest here, a lot of people don't, you know, they don't believe me. Um, but I really don't call offense yeah, 90 percent of the time. No, I usually have Bentley, Bentley calling does it offense. All. Um, and, and that's right. I was going to go right into that. Yep. And you have so much confidence in your quarterback and your son and he's shown time and time again he knows the call plays to call yeah. occasionally you'll yell something from the sideline mostly 
when your wife is coaching. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but occasionally you yell. But most of the time, Bentley, you got the keys to the car, right? Yes, sir. Do, do you enjoy that? Is that part of what you're thinking about in the game? Is Are you setting up plays? How far are you into that play call? I probably know every play and makes it easier. So do you, do you call a play and say, okay, I saw something here that I missed or the defense reacted. I'm going to go back to that in another play. Yes. Sir. Talk about it. Like, if... I throw to somebody that's wide open, and Lawrence Eddy will do like a go ball, and he'll be wide open. I'll know the same play, and I'll hit him because he was wide open the last play. And how much of that is because of your relationships with your wide receivers, because you've played with them for so long? It's it's good. Yeah, and I think that's such a huge part of it. And it seems like your offense, you always have that safety valve, and I, and I've seen that. There's a you can tell when there's a well coached team because. Like Matt does it when he plays, Jack does it when he plays, even John kind of does it. <laughs> so if there is a blitz, all of a sudden the quarterback knows instantly I got to get it to here. This is my hot route, yep. right? There, I'm I'm surprised how few coaches have a hot route. Yeah. I, I I think this whole thing, the way that, and I'm not saying this is the best way, but I feel like this makes a big difference, especially at this age group. You know, we all talk about you know coaching and so forth, and and what we're doing. You know, I kind of seen something the other day, you know, about route trees and so forth. Everyone has their 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 approach on coaching, right. but at the end of the day, what impact and what difference does it make for these young men? Because we could sit here all day long and say, you know, I'm, I'm this, I can do this, this kid can right. do this, etc. But it does not come down to one kid. It comes down to a team, to to a relationship, to a bond, and everybody has to understand. You know, they have to utilize each other. Sure. You know, if they don't have that chemistry, it just it's not going to happen. You know, you can have the best team in the world, but the worst coaching, and you're not going to have a good game. You know, so it goes back down to us having that and being able to build that chemistry. And you know, and again, we do. We have three or four quarterbacks on the team. We have two or three centers on the team. You know, but these well, kids. Oh, you, you have other people that play quarterback. Right. You have <laughs> one quarterback. <laughs> But, hey, at the end of the day, he'll, he'll tell you the same thing, you know. I, I want to make sure that he's able to, whether it be flag or tackle, teaching these young men different lessons as well. You know, that, that's the biggest thing when it comes down to football. Him being able to, to pick apart a defense at this age or call audibles and sure. so forth on the line, that, sure. that's huge. Absolutely. And, you know, that's where I'm able to kind of step back and, and kind of look at the field. And if I need to make an adjustment, I can. But like I said, for the most part, he's able to, you know, read everything. And, and again, I, I named those top players because it's not always just him. Those players will come back to the huddle sure. and be like, hey, B, you know, I'm open here. Watch this dig route. Watch the whip, et cetera. So that makes a huge difference as well. You know, and that chemistry that they have, it's, it's, it's almost, in, you know, un unstoppable, you know. But, again, if they come in strong and ready to play, I feel like it's going to be anybody's game this Rob, week. Rob, awesome. last question before we get you out of here. It's the playoffs. Is there a playing time guaranteed? Or are you going to put your five, your oh, five here, best on? Here we on? go. Yeah, so. Um, uh, so <laughs> you so, know I got on to no, you about no, no, that. No, 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 absolutely. So everybody knows how I am. You know, I've been out here, you know, one of the longest coaches. Hello? Yeah, yeah no, you're uh, good. So, so one of the longest coaches. And I, I look at it as in if you want – a position on this team or on any team, especially when it comes to the elite division, you have to work, period. If you're not willing to put 110% in, you're not going to be getting the play time. If you show them to practices late, um, you know, if you got a bad attitude, you're not going to get play time. So if, as long as you come out and you bust your rear end and you show up every day and you're willing to go the extra yard, I will play you, yes. Um, you know, but now when it comes down to this championship, Everybody's going to get a, a little bit of touch of the field as long as they show me throughout the day on Saturday. They will get a shot on Sunday. Um, like but, you know, it, it's going to be up to those guys at the end of the day. It has nothing to do with me as a coach. It has to do with these young men. Um, you know, and, again, my biggest thing, again, I tell everybody, life lessons. If you work hard, you play hard, you'll get that opportunity to shine. But it's going to be up to these young men, you know, at the end of the day when it comes down to Saturday and Sunday if we make this. Yeah, and plus one of the biggest factors is nobody wants to play the guy with the neck tattoo. Absolutely not. 100%. They're terrified. Hey, they're petrified. You see his gold tooth too, right? Oh, I love it. <laughs> He's a, he stands on business. I love it. I love it. All right. All right. Allens, Bentley. Thank you, guys. Rob, congratulations yep. on an incredible season. Yep. And uh, we'll see you this weekend. I, I'm yep. excited. The 12U 
comp division is one of my favorites. So yeah, absolutely. We appreciate you guys coming Looking forward to seeing out. you this weekend. Yes, sir. Thank you guys. All right. Bye, you boys. Guys. See you, man. All right. And that's going to bring us over to the 15U, or I'm sorry, to the 12U girls division. And yeah. uh, it's gotten rowdy out here. Thanks, it has, Rob. man. Love you, buddy. So hopefully, hopefully our, our uh, audio is pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's loud. It, it just Jer echoes. Jerry's here, so. So now we're going to bring over the the. Uh, Who we got now? The Bucks. Randy Scheib. Yeah, and and it, this is a team that we saw yeah. earlier in the season. Um, I'm kind of excited about this division overall. First time we've had it, and uh, I, I I I John uh, John. Matt, this is a this is a division you and I have talked about a lot this year. Four teams in it, right? Bucks yep. coming is the number one. Packers are the, are the third seed, and the Dolphins are the two, and the Patriots are the fourth seed. And uh, this is a fun division. Yeah, I think on all these teams, I, I never I haven't seen the Patriots play. I've seen that we you know we've seen the Bucks, the Dolphins, Packers. I think about the one thing about this division is each team, Bucks. Dolphins and Packers have a stud. They have a, a girl on the team who is just blazing fast. You know, and, and, and listen, I encourage these coaches to get together after the end of the season. Th do this, is, this is your foundation for yeah. the, between the, the two young ladies you have on your team, obviously mm -hmm. all four of your kids, but you got Jada on the Packers and that one Dolphins kid. I don't, I don't know her name. Sayani. My <laughs> good <laughs> Lord, that girl yeah. is fast. So, Coach yeah. Randy from the 12 yeah, Bucks got Randy. has joined Who us. Who you got with us? Marley Smith. Marley Smith. Yep. You're the quarterback, right? Yes, sir. She does everything. Yeah, it does it all. She all does she does it. is make plays. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Matter. I saw it firsthand. Annoying. <laughs> so, so, Randy, talk about this team. First year with the 12U girls. Kind of give your impression of this division. Did it exceed it? Are you shocked at the talent? You know, I was, uh, you know, seeing the combine and seeing the girls that came out there. I, I was impressed with the talent that was there. And um, I, I was excited for this division and getting the girls division started and um, saw quite a bit of talent. And I think it got spread out pretty well on all the teams. So sure. it was it was really cool to see that. And who do you got? And, and who I forgot. Um, Marley, Smith. Marley Smith. Sorry. How I get the sisters that? from. I, I get the sisters' names, because on the field, believe it or not, y'all look alike. Because you have the same hair, and I was like, I, I, it's and you're the super Smith. fast, super athletic, you're uh, scoring you guys, like crazy. All, all you guys did was score. Yeah. Is this your first year playing flag football? Uh, yeah, for 12 you I used to play for seven U when I was like really, really younger. When you were seven? Yeah, when I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, a, that's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, that was a long time ago, but. I, I was the only girl that scored touchdowns the whole season. Really? I scored about 12 that season. But so. we only we only won one game that season. Oh, bummer. It was, yeah, you it won more terrible. than that this year, huh? Yeah, we've won more than that that, that are, time. Are you uh, – how old are you? I'm 12. 12. Oh, 13. 13. 13. Just and, 13. And is this, is this going to – are you going to come back next year? That's yes. That, yep. And then my, my follow-up question is that, is this something you want to do in high school when you get to high school? Is this – it, you know, do you play other sports? Do you play basketball, or do you do anything like that? Uh, I play softball for 12 okay. U Ocala oh, Shocker. Or do you play at Shocker? Mm -hmm. Nice. Are you on the travel team there? The travel team. I play for Coach Aaron. Uh, what's her last name? Uh, Marley Smith. No, no. no. Oh, uh, Aaron. Aaron Weatherby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So my, my daughter actually won a um, softball World Series in 12 U with Shocker. But anyway, so, so, so you're going to take this to high school, or do you think this is just it's something fun to do? I think I might take it to high school. Are you better softballer? Are you better footballer? Uh, kind of both. Yeah. Oh. yeah are you Are you a pitcher? What? Short stopping catch. Well, short why stop. are you, you trying to put her in a box? Oh, I'm just asking, <laughs> man. I'm interested. You Do you hit bombs? Uh, yeah. I've hit like a, a home run over the fence in practice. A lot of them. Wow. I've never hit one um in so, a game though. So pure athlete. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So, talk about this flag since you. This is your first year since you were seven. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what do you enjoy about it? Uh, I enjoy playing with my team most. I just I really like playing with my team. It's, it's a great team, and I really like the girls on that team. All right, Coach Randy, th this is a squad that you've had to kind of get to know, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you didn't know any of the girls coming into the season. Yeah, none of them. So yeah. We, we had a fresh start. Um, so, yeah, very beginning, just getting to know them, getting to know the basics, and uh, kind of just building off of that with uh, – um, throughout the season. You know, so, so. so why coach 12 you girls? I've always enjoyed, you know, we've coached the younger age, coached the older kids, and uh, I feel like that 12 you age is that the sweet spot for me. Uh, they're just, um, 
they're really they really enjoy the sport. They really want to play really hard. Uh, I think it's just a really sweet spot age. So yeah, they um, haven't started cussing yet. <laughs> right? <laughs> they still listen. I'm sure, I'm sure they do, but they just don't do it in front of you. Right. right. <laughs> so what what has been the key then for you getting to know each one of these individuals? I guess just you know spending time with them, seeing where they're good, uh, and then just seeing how they interact with each other as well. You know, you, you learn a lot when they're just goofing off on the sideline yeah. uh, before practice or something. Um, but, yeah, just getting to know them in that sense and uh, just seeing where their strengths are and playing to that. And, and you've coached other divisions. Mm -hmm. um, but your first uh, – if somebody wants to become a coach mm -hmm. in this league, tell them how easy it is. How easy it is. Uh, to just coach, not to, not to win. To, just right. <laughs> It, it really is easy. I remember my first, so this is my fourth year, um, and it was really easy. Just, you know, I was nervous when I first started. Uh, you know, being under Terry, though, he's been there before, so he kind of helped guide me and just put me out there. And uh, you just, you really learn a lot just getting thrown out there and just doing, you know what I mean? So, um, but it's really easy. I mean, a lot of these kids have never played before, so teaching them basics and then uh, just going from that. So. Now, on the, on the controversial topic here, mm -hmm. do you only have four girls going into the playoff, or do, do you have five on the Bucks? or tell me what's going on there? So our fifth player actually did show up to practice. Oh, week, good. So I know. <laughs> so I'm excited to at least have the fifth player. Um, but, I mean, they, they hung in there a few games when we played with four players. I don't think players. it's going to matter. Yeah. <laughs> well, unfortunately, uh, Coach Elliott won't be there for the Packers this weekend. Okay. Yeah. And I – you can't do it? I can't do it because my game's at the same time. Oh, so I, uh, I've been talking with Charlie, trying to figure out what to do against those girls. And I'm like, you're on your own on this one. I don't know. You know, I, I, I wasn't able to get the practice, and, yeah. you know, they were practicing tonight. So. Well, and that first game's going to be a half, right. right? Is that something that you're concerned about at all? No, I think our girls play pretty well. They may get a little bit of a slow start, but I think they pretty, pretty much play pretty well throughout the game, so – any anybody in this division that you're like, that's the team we're gonna have to look out for or game plan for. I think a lot of it goes to kind of what Matt was saying that there's there's good members on each team, so you got to look out for them. Um, make sure you plan ahead to see how you can combat that. You know, um, so I don't I don't think there's a certain team. I know the Packers and Dolphins they're gonna be going against each other. That's gonna be a good game. To that's, see tough, that's, that's gonna be a tough game. The other thing too is not the, besides you guys, nobody else can. I mean, the Packers have two kids who can chuck the ball deep down the field, mm -hmm. but we got nobody that can go get it, right. right? You know, whereas you guys can throw it all over the place, short, deep, whatever, and then you got you know Marley taking off with it, breaking right. ankles. <laughs> yeah. and, and that's in, that's a that's my last point I was gonna make is how do you make sure that Marley gets the ball? <laughs> as much as possible. <laughs> well, we, you know, we have different plays, different run plays, pass plays. Um, you know, I try to do a little bit of a balance, and um, I try to throw off the team a little bit because I know they're going to be by looking not throwing her. it to Marley. By, yeah, right. By, by not, not letting her yeah, give, then she's doing the roll. RPO. Yeah, but then she rolls right and throws it all the way back. Yeah, right. Her right. Sister. It's like, like that oh, shouldn't cool. work. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> yeah, it's it, exciting. Yeah, and and again, we've really this is the first year we've had the the girls division. It's a, it's a division, I think, that has surprised all of us with the quality of play. Right. Considering these girls haven't had this opportunity, I think this is the division, this 12U, is going to become very competitive as the word gets out of just how much fun it is. Yeah. Yeah. Marley, it's fun, right? It's really fun. Is it, it, I mean, it's constantly going. You're doing something all the time. It's completely different than softball. Yeah, I hate, I hate just sitting there on the field. I need to be doing something. <laughs> See, That's you're awesome. you're you're now a flag. And yeah. and by the way, as Welcome soon as football. yeah, <laughs> flag flag football is going to become a Division One sport yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. within the next ten years. It, I, it, it, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I just want to say I agree. I agree. Yeah, I, and, and and for girls like you who, who have natural ability and are smart and and you know good kids, hustle, all all the intangibles. I'm sure she's easy to coach and fun mm -hmm. to coach. Yeah. You know, you guys are going to have the bigger opportunity. Let me tell you. We go to the Disney tournament every year. It's, the, it's in January. The girls' teams are absolutely they're more organized. They compete better. They're quieter. I mean, you, you'll have the boys' teams in 12U talking crap and, right. you know, oh, and just just jerks. Yeah. And, I, and when I sit there and watch the girls, we were watching Team Mexico warm up, and I'm like, 
10 girls haven't said a word. <laughs> They're in a circle. They're stretching. They got the music going. They are ready to go, right. you know. So I, I think when, you know, and I coached at uh, – uh, Forest a couple years ago with the okay. girls. It's just, it's more fun. Yeah, the is. girls, they listen, they learn more. And plus, you know, you're not dealing with a guy who's even playing since he was this big. Now, mm. once the girls start, like, if you just played from seven all the way up, oh my God, you'd be, you'd be playing on my team in 12 U comp. <laughs> yeah, that's right. With the boys. <laughs> that's right. All right. So, Coach Shelp, congratulations. Yeah. Undefeated season. Go get them, yeah. Smith. Yeah. yeah. Let's keep Go it up. get them. Yes, sir. Go well, get them. Can't wait to see you guys play. Talking to you. When do you guys play your Super Bowl? Sunday. It would be so Sunday. 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 Yeah. I'll yeah. be there for that one. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'll be there yeah. to call it. Hopefully Excited we're talking about to you it. after it. Sounds good. All Congratulations right. to you yeah. both nice on an incredible you. regular season. Yep. And uh, go get them. Again, I think that's going to be a tremendous amount of fun. Yeah. So, yeah. So uh, yeah, and and the only thing I want to touch on that, you know, you know, when you sign up to coach, I mean, I'm gonna pick on Coach Elliott a little bit because, you know, when you sign up to coach Galen, like show up, like you know what the schedule is, and he has an assistant, and uh, thank you so much, you know, he has an assistant. She's young, she's 18, she's fresh out of high school. You know, come on, man, I, it, it it aggravates the crap out of me. So, anyways, how's it going, Matt Mosier? How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. We met at the field, and I wasn't ready for that in any way, shape, or form. All right, it's the 14U rec playoffs now. And, uh, again, Galen Unol, Matt Mosier, joined by the head coach of the 14U rec Jags, Paul well Wildman. Wildman, right? Wildman, that's it. Yeah, Thanks wild for having man. me. How are you tonight, coach? Doing great. Doing great. Appreciate the opportunity to be here. Um, great season, breaking it up into rec and comp. I love it. Um, that rec, that rec division really, really suits us. So, um, really enjoying the season. Good, good. I, I, you're not mad at me for stealing Cole Miller from you at the start of the season, are you? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> uh, he, you know, at the last minute, I had a guy quit, and I call, I text Cole. I go, Yo, you want to play for me? He goes, I'm already on a team. And I said, Where? Are you? He goes, I'm with, I'm a wild man. I'm like, Well, if you want to come with us, we're gonna travel, do all this other stuff. I did, you know, and then he says, all oh, my parents know Paul, and yep. he went through this whole thing. Coburn, man, I knew him when he was just yeah. a young guy, he's man. He's one of my favorite dudes, man. He's awesome. Yeah, he's, he's a, awesome. He's a great kid, and, and so I, I lucked out and was able to steal him for you, but it looks like you, you didn't need him at this point, huh? Tell, all right. So who do you got with you tonight, Coach? So this is Peyton Henderson here, and uh, he's one of our uh, up-and-coming uh, young players here, uh, emerging leader, if you will, on the team. Uh, it's been really, really fun to watch him play and to watch him grow. Um, not only does he play in the 14U uh, rec, but he also uh, plays in the 15U boys. Okay. So he's one of those guys that's just going both ways uh, with that this season. A um, lot of fun, and um, yeah. it, nice. it's, been, it's been a joy. Do you, do you play taco football, Peyton? Or is this yeah, I yeah. play for Forrest. Oh, do you really? You play over yes, there sir. for Mike Elliott and uh, Cullen and those guys? Yes, sir. Nice, nice. You were a uh, freshman? Yes, this sir. This past year? Nice. What position do you play over there? Uh, I played receiver last year, but I'm moving into defense. I'm trying okay. to play safety. I like it. So we, we've talked about this since you brought it up. Do you enjoy flag more than tackle? No, because I like hitting people. <laughs> <I> like hitting. <laughs> By the way, that is not a bad answer yeah. at all. Yeah. Um, but this year, your, your team's been very successful. Why? I don't know. I feel like we can, like, communicate and, like, play as a team like nobody's not doing their own thing we're all like acting as one and that's how we stop everybody on defense like it starts on defense and we just lock everybody down on that and that's what makes us win yeah and you guys are the number one seed coming in is there anybody that you're really worried about coach in this division or does it just start and end with you you know you can't take anybody for granted in this league you know um several of our games i mean we only won by a touchdown and um and so you really can't take them for granted uh, you gotta, you gotta bring your whole squad, and you gotta be uh, locked in, as the kids say, um, and ready to go. But, um, but yeah, we're looking forward to it, and, and a great, uh, a great game on Saturday. Yeah, I know this Dolphins team's got some. They got some ballers. They got Kemp. They got Cohen. Um, Emma. Emma. They got Hawks. But did you, have, did you guys play them? Obviously, you played them this year a couple we times. We did. We once. Once. We, we had the opportunity to play them once, and. Um, 
And uh, I think they didn't have their full squad, so they weren't totally loaded either. So, uh, you know, uh, we'll see. We'll see and, what happens. And, and your boy plays quarterback, right? He does. Yeah, he does. T tell me what it's like watching Emma Johnson rush the quarterback. How annoying is that? We had to deal with that last year. You know year. what? I, I have a fun time with my son, and I say, you know who's coming for you this weekend? Emma's coming for you. And yeah. what does she do? She sacks him. You know, and so that's that's a little bit of father son, uh, yeah, fun in in our household. You know, and and we have a good time with that. But I hear she's she's uh, well rounded in a lot of different things. Yeah, um, she, I've talked to one of her teachers, and she's really really a good, uh, just overall. Yeah, so. great. Well, they got a they have a great family. Funny story too. I have actually. Uh, oh, hold on, it's Matt Moser's hang on, story. Look, time. look at this, Caleb, Caleb Johnson, her older brother, played for me years ago. I said, hey man, you got to give me your uh, your your card. Do I have it in here? Yeah. I said, give me your card. You're going to be famous one day. That's her. That's her. He played tackle for me in the Pee Wees. Nice. Now he's in high school. He probably goes to school I with you. I work out with him every, every morning. I work out with him. Yeah, yeah. So tell him that, man. I saw your little Pee Wee card. No, but they, they really do have a great family. Um, they're going to be uh, – he's been coaching. in the. He coaches the team, right? Justin coaches the Dolphins, right? That, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so forget about them. Um, is that really going to be your main competition here, you think? You know, like I said, you really can't take any of these teams Don't be for humble granted. here. Uh, yeah, come, we, on. We're, we're come on. We need that. more than I mean, that. Hey, we have Nile. We have Nile over here. <laughs> you know, I mean, when you when you look at when you look at the differentials and stuff with the teams that we've played, uh, you know, if you want to talk oh, about if you, if you want to talk stats. about the yeah, if you want to talk about the Dolphins, I mean, that was a 27 to 13 game. Wow. Um, so you know, um, you just don't know. You just wow, don't know. you know, this is this is very interesting, Galen. Like outside of one blowout, I mean, he, he he is. They're in hell games. Every game is battled. Yeah. So your team's battle tested. I mean, we have battle tested. I mean, even one game, I think with the Saints, it went to overtime. Really, ended up pulling out. Coach Julian uh, pulled it out in overtime, um, and uh, you know we didn't have our full squad that day, but uh, you know it, it came up with the W that day. And then, I mean, our last game against those Ravens, I mean. You know, we were we were just off to a slow start, and um, our guys were resilient. They came back. Um, I think from uh, you know a couple scores down, and um, it's good to see that with the kids. You know, it's not just about the football; it's about life. Like Peyton said earlier, you know, you're communicating. You know, you're making sure that you're uh, all locked in and you're all on the same on the same playing field, if you will. Uh, and commitment: Are you there every day? Are you working yeah. hard? Uh, and Leadership. I like it. Maybe one of these guys is going to have their own business someday. Love it. You know, and they got to, hey, how am I going to delegate and manage these kids? So, well, well we try and, to push and, that out. And yeah. you're saying a bunch of the things that Matt and I talk about all the time. But what I've been most impressed with in it, every coach that's come up here that's a one seed, you know what they all are? They're prepared. Yep. And you can tell, like, I'm not just going to roll out the balls. I'm going to put in the work. Right. How much work are you putting into this every week? You know, more um, than you should. Yeah, you know, yeah. probably. Yeah, you know, not as much as Matt over here. <laughs> well, he's but, uh, the goat. And so, oh, and so, yeah, but but you know, that's why I really like the rec leagues. I'm, you know, I I was brought up. You know, you think you have everything planned out before the kids come. The kids come, and then your whole perspective changes on things, right? And uh, and so you really got to work with that, and um, you know, just just work through that and see, you know, what comes your way and and how you contend with things. But um, I like especially it. when you're at this age group and their mindset changes. But but if you don't step onto that field, especially practice and don't have a plan, right. you will be overwhelmed instantly. And obviously, you know that and come so, prepped. So it started out, you know, in kindergarten, two boys, you know, hey, we're going to, you know, they're, they're becoming my hobby. Right. And so you start out at kindergarten. Hey, guys, we're going to do red run. They know colors. They know direction. Hopefully they run the right way run the, the right way, right? Sure. And so now you, you graduate from that. You learn, you know, after getting, you know, your, your behind handed to you several times over the seasons, <laughs> you know, you learn a little bit. And so now, you know, you run a concept on one side with an option on the receiver on the other side. And you look at that and you're like, wow, we went from red run to this. Right. You know, so it's really been fun. And How many years have you every, been coaching? Every year you learn something new. Well, with NFL flag, I've been going around four years now. Okay. So. It's really organized. I mean, I played for some of the other leagues or, or coached with some of the other leagues in town. Um, I was about to say, but, let's uh, check your oh, birth certificate. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, it's not even close. We, <laughs> no, we, it's not. I've done the other leagues too. Yeah. But it's one. been great. It's been great seeing that. And you know what? Things aren't perfect. There's always things to improve on, right? But, uh, but it's been great um, being there at Jervy Gant and uh, just, just growing with it. Now, does your, does your boy age out after this year or – 
how, how old are your kids? So Kayla, my oldest, he is actually able to play next year. He just made the cut. The August or ju so whatever. He would, yeah. he would be able to play the 15U again. So he's 15 now. His birthday's not until January. Perfect. Perfect. So if he decides to do that, we'll you know see what uh, NFL flag has for us. If we're going to do a rec, uh, you know, competitive for 15U or or how what that's going to look like next year. I'm not sure. I like it. But, are, uh, we'll are, are you able to come back next year and play? Yeah, I'm, I'm still 4'2". Okay, so you're coming yeah. back next year. Probably, yeah. yeah Either that or 7 or 7. Man, I, I, you know, the only thing I'm going to say, the difference between 7 and I, I don't, I have no opinion either way. Like, it's good to keep kids active, right? That's right. But, That's right. But I will say this. I do like the structure of a game every week in Ocala. Yes. And then if you want to travel and do other things and get on a, you know, a travel team, or you know, that, that option is there. The seven-on-seven seven to me is, I, I don't, like, I feel like the seven-on-seven seven teams, they pick, you know, pick and choose who's playing this week and, and go from there. Well, you know, there's 25 guys. Oh, it's, and, it's a nightmare. And you get locked in at a position. Yeah, I've it, coached yeah. it. I'm it's, okay with it, but there's no rush on the quarterback. I mean, your 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 boy's a quarterback. Different. You know, you want give me that pressure, man. Let me see how I. <laughs> so, so what's it going to take for the uh, Jags to win it all? For you to get a ring? Have you gotten a ring before? Have you won before? We have never won before. Man. All right, is I this mean, the best team won. you've had? Um, because now that it's wrecked, you don't have to go against the goat. Oh my god! Which helps. It does make a difference. He pays it me every time I difference. say that. By the way. Uh, I would say, you know, as, every, as, as long as everybody does their job uh, and everybody's focused, I think we're going we're gonna to go pretty far um, and uh, be ready. And, and I'll we say, be ready by the way, play. that's it, really it, all you can do sometimes as a coach is just be ready. Yeah. yeah. And listen, again, you know, all these other teams that we've interviewed tonight that are undefeated, they have had a cakewalk regular season. These guys <laughs> uh, are so, – so as far as – you know, when you get to a game and, and you know, oh, we're losing, you've, you've been there, or I don't know if you know, I'm sure some of those games are we've back We've been and forth. there, Matt. Trust right. me, we've been you, there. You, <laughs> you, you, know, you know what I'm saying? You're losing. You're like, you're not going to get down on yourself. You're prepared, you know, and, and, and that's what I think, like, a lot of these kids get that confidence. Like, man, hey, we've been down 7-0 before, 14-0 before. Let's, that's right. You know, you know, let's not give up. And, and, and I think that's the, the true testament of coaching. It's like, man, when you get those kids and you're losing – you know, we got blown out this weekend in, in Jacksonville. And, you know, we we got score limited. No, I've never been score limited in my life, and and I, and I'm like, it, but you know what? I'm sitting there, and I got Armani and Mari and all these guys, and they're not hanging their heads. They're not defeated yeah. from it. And that's when I was like, you know, what? I'm okay with it. You know, if they if if they were dropping their shoulders or whatever, I'd be like, man, I'm not, you know, I'm not preparing these kids for anything. So yeah. And in business, how many times do you fail right. before you succeed, All right? Way too much. Yeah. So. <laughs> Way too much. Well, sure. I, I'm excited about this, yeah, and, and, and the best of luck to you. Are you. Last question, are you worried about the half? Only having a half. He doesn't. He doesn't get a. Tw he gets a. Full oh, you four. get a full game. We get a That's full right. Game. Because you, you don't get have the to worry buy. about it. Never man. mind. We get a full game. Terrible question. We just talked about that, didn't we, Peyton? Yep. So, yeah. All that, right, Peyton. We'll end it with you. What's the key to your team getting the ring? Honestly, I feel like we got it no matter what we do. I feel like we can destroy any of these teams. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, I think you're going to have to score some answer. points. I mean, you're <laughs> going to have to do yeah. something. <laughs> but as long as we it's like, don't – because all, all the games have been closed, well, most of them have, but we just haven't gave in the whole time. And that's probably going to stay – it's going to stay like that the whole time. And if we just continue that, it's going to be the same outcome as, that has been. I love, love it. it. Love Congratulations it. Congratulations to you guys for an incredible gentlemen. season. And good luck. This weekend should be fun, and you'll probably be getting some uh, some medals this week uh, tomorrow yeah. night. You think? Yep. Gonna yeah. make some teams. Price some awards. Get awesome. some awards. All right. Congratulations to you both, uh, Coach Wildman. Thank you. Good guys. luck. It's a pleasure. Nice Appreciate it. Thank you. It's right. always and, and Matt, you you and I talk about it. Coaching matters so much. Yeah, for sure. At and this I mean, level, and, and you know, a lot of times they Thank just you. sit there and say, "Oh, it's flag. It's this. It's that." You know what? It's yeah. Get more. Come on, come on, Jack. And, and uh, you know, I think um, I think uh, um, you know, people might sit there and say it's flag, but it's competition, man. It's it's it's. Just, I was going to interview them. Do you want to? Interview? No, get in here, Jack. Uh, oh, who do you want, Matt? I was going to interview them. Well, then why don't you get up let and him. let me let Jack? Oh, no, Lord. go ahead and finish your comment first. I, I, that was my comment. No, I'm kidding. You can stay. All right, we'll do them, and then Jack's going to interview me. How about that? You want to sit here, Jack? Oh, all right. All right. All right. 
All right. Coach Matt Mosier, the GOAT. Oh, stop it. Who do you got with you tonight? We're going to let Armani McFarland and uh, Jamari Thomas here kind of kind of talk about our team and what we've done this year and everything like that. We're going to interview them. I'm going to be neutral. So, Amari, we'll start with you because all you do is make plays. <laughs> I, I've watched a lot of flag this year. I think you have more fun than anybody else I've seen, with the exception of maybe Kenyon. Kenyon really loves a game, but I love – how much you enjoy every single play. Yes, sir. I just try to make, make the best out of what I do. Like, I'm just trying to always have fun. Even if we down, we always just trying to have fun. That's always what I'm trying to do. And let, let me tell you a funny story about this guy this oh, weekend. We're in Jackson. Hold on, it's story time yeah. with Matt Mosier. Listen, listen. He's, he's sitting there, in the, in, the, in the ref, <laughs> and, and the coach for the other team is drawing plays on the sideline. This guy is getting at the ball, going, he's doing a post, he's doing this. <laughs> He's blowing kisses at the guy. He's so annoying. If he was not on your team, right, Mari? If he's not on your team, you hate. You want to fight him every step of the day. You you just want to kick the crap out of him, right? <laughs> so so he's out there just in 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 in, in the, the, these two right here. Let me tell you something. You're not going to hear them trash talk. Jack's going to back me up on this. You're but if you're on the field, you hear. And they, they are quietly talking trash, getting into the heads of, of their opponents nonstop. So, anyways. So, Mari. Mari, you're, pull, you're, pull the mic up. Yeah, get up there. Speak up. So, talk about the team with the Lions. And you guys are so dominant in this division. Is it fun? Yeah. I mean, we know what we're supposed to do. We dominate. <laughs> we can go dominate on 15 year level. But is it fun? <laughs> Do yeah, you enjoy fun. just destroying people? No, nah, not always. You get born or something. <laughs> hey, we had some fun losing this weekend, though. Yeah, was, yeah, how was this weekend? I'll talk about that. That's, Man, that's it was all right. But. I mean, you guys got scoreboard. Well, what did we learn? Yeah, we learned. Did we learn we could hang with them? Yeah. I mean, they're fast. I mean, it's going to take a miracle to beat them next weekend, but, I mean, we, we're not going to quit. How much do you, do you guys legitimately, though, are, are by far and away the best team out here? It's been proven time and time again. <laughs> And you're you're coached by the goat. I mean, does it does everybody just walk around? It's like, well, it's not you. It's the it's the coach. Mm. It's you get that a lot? No, nah, not really. Sometimes. No, I'm just messing. No, but legitimately, you guys are a lot of fun to watch. You you guys have some good camaraderie because you've played together for so long. Mm. How? I used to not like him. <laughs> Why? Because he yeah. was on the other team. No, no we we played team. for like like what like four years five. So you like each other now? Oh, we cool. Yeah, we cool. No, you sure? No. <laughs> we, hey, well, our, 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 listen, our first practice this year, I, they were, they were our, I said, I'll kick you both off the team. Shut well, up. Well, you say that to everybody. I know, no. and I usually do. But Except no. for one guy. Yeah. Jake's, There's one guy Jake's not who's going never anywhere. getting kicked off. <laughs> and they know that. <laughs> so do, do you he, – he'll text me and say, oh, wait till you see what we run this week. You guys always have some kind of a new play coming out. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hey, the Super Bowl game is going to go crazy. Oh, I've heard. It's going to go crazy. I, no, not, not only have I heard, I've seen it demonstrated. We're not going to talk about that, though. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, on a live stream. Well, you, you know what's funny about you know coaching these two is, like, the other day we're at practice, and we just, they were screwing around, and I said, wait a minute. Let's let's look at this, and we cook something up, and and, and then to see that you know, Armani had an idea, then Mari had an idea, and then we we just took some little stupid thing that they were screwing around with, and turned it into a play, and to see the development of it, and how how everybody bought in, they're all interested, like oh okay, let's try this, let's try this, um, you know these guys they have a lot of freedom to try different things, Our, you know Armani always tries it. You know, give me ideas and stuff. I mean, there, and, and Mari and I, do, during the tackle season, Mari and I were texting, you know, five, six you minutes a day. You probably should on a microphone. Yeah, like me. Be loud, he, but. He's a terrible example. No, no. But, um, no, these two are the best, man. It, it's easy to win when you got the best Well, it, it, one of the things that I see with a lot of your, your players, and I, I'd like you guys to talk about it, is your trust. Right? You can trust your coach that he's not going to put you in a position to fail. Mm -hmm. Is that important to you guys? Yeah, for sure. It, it's like a lot of ri reliability that I have in him because it's like this is my second year, second year with him, but it feels like I've been with him for like five years. Yeah. So the trust we build up is like crazy. I can, if he tells me to do something, shut up. 
it, I'll do it. Well, he'll kick he, you off the team. No, he knows where to put me in my position, and no matter what, he's he's the right. Cause I draw some, I draw something up. Be like, nope. Next play, we got a touchdown. So he he's the goat, like everybody say. Like so, every everybody say he's a goat. That's not underestimated. It's so true. so Maury, what is what is the secret sauce to your team? <laughs> I don't even know, bro. We just ball. Is bro. it just so because you're all balanced and you're all good athletes, yeah. or what? What if there? If you had to point to one thing, what makes you guys so good? Faith. Bro. We never stop having faith. We always got faith in each other. Like, say he dial up a play for McFarland, I know he can go make the play. So like, it's just trust. That's huge, and that's impossible to teach, right? That's earned through. I'm about, I say this all the time. Faith comes from giving someone enough rope for you to trust them to hold that rope, right? Mm-hmm. So um, what's the key to success and to beat the Chargers in the Super Bowl this year? Well, we got to beat the Steelers <laughs> first. Yeah, it's one game at really? time. Yeah. But so you're not, you're not you, this, really? You, is that what you just we brought We play up one at? game at a time. Oh, my gosh. Do I ever, do I ever get ahead of it? No. Or one game at a time? He already told me what the first play of the Super Bowl is going to be. All right, chill. I, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said that'd be crazy. Oh. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to talk to your team about, Matt? No, I mean, you know, these guys put in a lot of work. I don't I don't think, you know, other teams understand the demand that I put on these guys. You know, if they join my team, there's no seven on seven. They if they join my team, they gotta be at practice twice a week, two hours a day. They gotta be there an hour early. I'm gonna text them five hundred times during the week in in game plan and like the communication with these guys, they understand. I mean, Mari played tackle for me. I picked him up every day just so we could talk. Took him, picked him up, and took him home. So, um, I I don't think people understand like the the level of that that you know that we connect and talk to each other. You know, and the other thing too is these guys, they don't they don't quit, man. You know, um, they they they've seen me. You know, Armani and I had a loss in Kansas City, and he's seen me feel it the same way he felt it. So. You know, everything that we do, we're on the same page. So I love these guys. You should make them get another tattoo. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Anything else you guys want to say before we uh, let you guys go? Sure. No, sir. (laughs) All right. It's a pleasure to see you both. I'll see you Sunday. Good luck to both of y'all. Good job. And uh, go Lions, I guess. Uh, oh, but and by the way, we're going powder blue. Come on, Jack. We're going get up here, Jack. Let's talk to Jack Sheaves, the second best coach in the league. Oh, Third. Third? Behind who? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That, that's probably CMR. fair. He could be number one. All right, Jack Sheaves, head coach for the Chargers. You're the number two seed coming into this. Um, you're going to face either the Eagles or the Bills before you take on the Lions. How are you feeling? How are you feeling right now? I'm it's a little, it's a little nervous. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say I'm certain that we're going to make the Super Bowl, but I feel like we're going to play. The Super Bowl. We're going to play the Eagles. We beat the Eagles without our three best players, so we'll have our three best players. So we'll, you know, I, I feel like we're going to get there. It, um, we've not beat the Lions. That's a, a well-known fact. Yeah. Uh, by everybody. Um, <laughs> I, I, you know, listen, the Steelers gave the Lions uh, their, their maybe their toughest game of the no. year. We scored well, 70 points. I mean, You just told me you're worried about the Steelers. I am, but it's not our closest let, game. Let, let me well, ask you, you, you guys are both coaches, and you started out with this. And what I miss most about coaching in an odd way, because I haven't coached in a while, is the nervousness you get before a game. Right, and, and not just a regular season game, but for a playoff game. Because that before you go to bed, that's all you're thinking about is what can go wrong. So, so I'm gonna, Am I wrong? Listen, I'm going to tell, tell you why I've decided to take a year off. I don't get that anymore. Oh. And, uh, and Dwayne and I have talked about this at length. And, and, I, and I'm not – this isn't me talking crap to Jack. But all the pressure – I have no pressure on me to win this game. You know, if, if, I, if I lose – <laughs> oh, I'm going to go drink beers with Dwayne and Billy after, you know, and I'm not, tr- I'm not, this isn't me mind gaming, but the pressure's on them to beat us. You know, when you, when you look sure. at M- Miguel and his, his good players, his core guys, Joey, 
you know, Joey's had four or five seasons ended at, Jake, at the hands of Jake. You know, Miguel talks about how many championships games he's been in and hasn't won. So, you know, and it's not because they're not coached well or because they're bad play or any of that. It's just, it's just the way it happens. You can't win every game. And, you know, I would say that um, the You're most... You're just going to go strictly to the broadcast booth. Yeah, yeah, right. But, you know, I would say the most nervous I had been in the last three years was when we were at the Pro Bowl this, you know, that a uh, couple months ago. I, you know, I, I can't sleep. I didn't sleep. And but it, isn't that fun? That is the best part. I don't have, you know, like when we played tackle this year with the Chiefs, we blew everybody out. It yeah. wasn't even close, man. We were running yeah. clock by halftime in every game, including the Super Bowl. So, you know, you and I'm not saying I'm the best or whatever, but we just built this nucleus of kids and teams and, and this cohesiveness. Obviously, I got Jake. You know, that's a big part of it. I got Armani, got Mari, you know, that have been with us forever. So, you know, I don't, I don't have that anymore. I don't have that hunger. You know, I'm not out there. You know, oh, I, like I would love to go to a different. I'd love to go coach with Greg and start all over with. You know, so so the pressure is on <laughs> my guy here. It's here. You know, we we and we, we talk all the time. We're, yeah, I get we it. talk all the time. We share a lot of stuff. You know, to me, the fact that he still works on new things and he's like, I got something new for you. At least it means he's <laughs> he's having to think a little bit. Like he can. He, you know, the, these other coaches that are going to be listening online are, are not going to like this, but he can sleepwalk through most of his games. He, and he knows it, and his kids know it, and the other teams know it. And so to, to at least get him to think a little bit, that's, that's, that's what drives this. You know, if there wasn't – I mean, he's obviously my problem when it, com <laughs> when it comes to winning stuff. You know, we've, we've done very well. Uh, and had a lot of things ended uh, by him. Um, we've gone out of town to other tournaments and had to play him. It's it's no fun. Um, but, but you know it it, it is, I say it's no fun, but it's fun. You know you want to have somebody that you're competing with to make you better. Right. And I have to try to keep getting better um, to to keep up with what he does. And you know I I think that we're the only team with a chance if we play right um we haven't proven it we but i think talent wise we're the only team we're that really has a shot we're worried about yeah that. i mean your your super bowl is one i always look forward to because i i know two things one it's going to be well played and it's going to be well coached um you know the playbook you're the rule book better than anybody else how does this league Take the next step in officiating. Fire all of them. We have to have the, the, the willingness from the officials to train. They, will, they don't want to show up preseason and go through training classes. Um, and a lot of these guys are stubborn and just think they know the rules and they just don't read the rule book. And there are changes to it every year. Um, there are different things. These guys are refing. Um, some of them, I've seen them out doing uh, other leagues. And the rules in those other leagues are different, and they think that they can come into ours, and then they, they get them confused. Sure. And you can't do that. You know, I think last year we all got a little frustrated when we went out of town uh, with some of the NFL Everything flag officials. Yeah. We were frustrated, and you think that they're not doing a good job until you come back this year and see what's happening, and then you, you wish for those guys. You wish they were there making the calls yeah. because – you, you have to, to do it. I don't care if a referee makes a bad call on a pass interference that's a judgment call. I mean, I, if it's obvious, I do care. But if, it, if it's just a judgment call, that's one thing. But when you don't get the rush line right, when you don't yeah. call, you know, when you let teams not get set pre-snap, yeah. you know, they're just rolling up you the line. You want the nuts and bolts done. Yes. And, and let me tell you this, too. The, this weekend we, when we were in Jacksonville, they had, and we'll talk to KP about this, but they, 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 in the indoor stadium, they had, the, they had the, the, the yard markers, right? You know, one, two, three, four, seven yards. So they're marking off the seven yards, actual seven yards. Dude, it's a long, like, I, Dwayne and I are sitting there talking like, our league must be five yards, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and w w that two yards is such oh, a huge. huge difference when you got Noah Day blitz in your or whoever you're blitzing. Sure. Like it's, <laughs> you know, and, and, and then the inconsistency from sometimes it could be, and then I've seen them where they're eight yards marked off, you know. And it's like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah. You know, come on. That's the most fundamental thing. And it, it, that's the most, the, the yeah. impeding the rush. Listen, 
We rush 100% of the time, okay? We have not got one impeding the rush call this year. Not one. And it's made a big difference yeah. for your team. I mean, you've only clocked everyone. Oh, God. <laughs> it, it, it's a preparation, though. No, you're, I get we're it. We're preparing I get it. for yeah. beyond. You this. guys aren't just playing. And you're, you right. guys are both the, the teams that aren't really playing this division to win this division. Right. You're playing this to go out and well. to win national tournaments. <laughs> we want, we want to win the division. We, we want the ring. You but understand we, my point. Yeah, yeah. If I but lost, we're preparing. Yeah. If I lost to him and qualified for the for the, the national tournament, yeah. I yeah. would be happy. Yeah. Sure. You know, I, I'm, I'm fine with that. But. You know, we've, you know, I am, I'm just the king of second place right oh, now. Oh, stop. Like well, everything. you're the bridesmaid. I am. I always. mean, you look good in a dress, I just do. not a white one. Hey, but li listen, the, the game last year really came down to, to I mean, two plays. Yeah. I mean, the, the game last year, um, they were up. No, you're right. And then that pick changed it, everything. Mari got that pick six, and then yeah. we stopped him on the next play, and then yeah, we went down that's, and scored that's immediately. Right. So, I mean, that was – like, that was a game changer. And the yeah. funny thing about that pick, you know, we talk about my player. We, him and I have talked about it all the time. He baited that throw. Like, when, <laughs> when I saw the ball being thrown, I'm like, that is a catch. He saw it leave his hand. He said, that's a catch. And then all of a sudden, Mario's going. I will way. tell you, I think one of the most improved players I've seen out here year over year is your quarterback. Joey? Yeah, I think Joey's yeah. grown by leaps and bounds. He, he is. He's a very, he's very fiery. He he is emotional. Yes. Um, if he can get that a little more in check as he gets older, if, if he's he going to be good. If he's, he could figure that part out, yeah. he's fast. He's quick. He's got a cannon. He's smart. But he, you know, in in you know, I was talking about Jake or not Jake, talking to Jack about this. Like at the end of our game, they scored a touch. We were up whatever, and mm -hmm. they scored, and the game was over. And he's talking crap to Jake. And Jake's, and Jake's, yeah. and, and Jake goes like, "What you know? What are you talking to me for? You know, I'm not, sure. I didn't even play against you, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so that he's got to he's got to manage that. And you know, Miguel, like the thing about his team too, they don't quit. No, nope. they're they're nope. gonna, they're but they, you know they just teeter on frustration for him. I see his frustration arguing with him all the time. Um, you know, I mean, and and it's just something that you know as, as time as he as you and when you get used to these kids, I mean, listen. I got three kids that I've coached for four years. You know, Sims, Mari, Hamp. Sims and Sims and Hamp, pro, you know, probably wouldn't make my team next year because they've gotten so used to me that it's it, they're they're out of control. You know, they they don't listen to what I'm saying. They sure. they want to do what they want to do. Oh, that's Coach Matt. He takes me to Zaxby's every day. You know, <laughs> what well, I could do what I want. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's and that's you know kind of and he's kind of running. Into that. But again, how many years? 4 years with Miguel or whatever. Yeah, yeah. We we've, we've had him for a couple of years, you know. Yeah, so. What what a lot of people don't mention and we'll just throw this out a little bit is that uh two of my starters from this year <laughs> who would have been starters on my team this year. Oh yeah. Uh, they're starting for the Lions. <laughs> no, I I know. So you know, it, it was uh, it was it was a little hurtful to my my roster <laughs> they plans. They defected. Uh, I I put a lot, I put a lot of effort into my quarterback last year. Yeah. Uh, I really worked with him. He uh, he blossomed last year. Yeah. He was a he he became a a very well coached, very <laughs> uh, awesome kid. Uh, he had a lot of I, I think he'll tell you <laughs> he had a lot of detractors uh, from the year before just about. Um, his overall yeah. uh, uh, attitude. Sure. But he came in and was the most coachable kid. Yep. He bought in. He and I got along great. We worked together great. And that's the reason I miss him. It's not, you know, he's a good kid and he's a great player. And I, and I wish him well, just not when we play. No. Well, and the, fun, the funny thing is, though, when, <laughs> when Jack sent him over to me, Jack says, he actually said at the beginning, he's like, I'm probably not going to get him back if he starts playing for you. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And, and you know, and, and I'll tell you this. One, one last thing I want to talk about, Armani. He's talking about Armani, and we'll go into 15U. But, yeah. you know, um, every coach we talk to, we ask about Armani. Oh, he's this. He's that. Head case. We have never experienced any of that with the young man. So, you know, if you start coaching, you're getting into coaching, uh, don't listen to what these other coaches are saying because if I did that, I mean, half the kids on my team I would, wouldn't yep. be on the team. Yep. All right, let's get right into the 15, into you 15 boys. You play we'll, off. We'll tee up Raiders are the number one seed. I don't see Phil more. He's nah, not here. We'll do Zero Jack. chance he was showing up. Uh, he'll, he big times me all the time. That's what he does. Jack Sheaves from the Chargers. 
Uh, we've talked a lot about your team. It's basically your 14U team. A few well, player it's, it's, difference. It's, it's, it's a big difference, actually. Like, a lot of people think that. But um, for our, our center quarterback, um, two of our receivers are different. So, uh, he's going he's gonna to Yeah, he's going to leave us. He's I'll talk to you about it. So, so, yeah. so, let's talk about your first round. You're going to probably play the Steelers. You worried about that in 15U? Well, the, the thing is I haven't seen the Steelers 15U at full, full capacity. Right. We played them once during the year, um, and it was just kind of a, a laugher of a game. They didn't have their full roster there. We just kind of, you know, rolled over them. Um, but they've got some talent. Um, so I'm, I'm interested to see what they have when they're at full strength. But I really feel like at full strength my 15U team um, is better than them. Um, we're 6-1. We're and one. We lost to the Raiders game one. We haven't lost since. We played the Raiders in a night game and had a – I mean, it was a really good game with them. Um, we were able to play solid defense, um, move the ball, scored enough to win. Um, that game right there, you know, I, I'm looking forward to that game. It's going to be a battle. Um, this is a fun division. Yeah. Yeah. This is a loaded division. Uh, especially with the two teams up at the top. I just yeah. want to point out the 14 Lions are undefeated in 15U, but they nobody's talking about that. <laughs> I, not, I, nobody <laughs> wants to talk about that. <laughs> I don't. Nobody wants to talk about but, that. But let me ask you this. You, you, when, are you going to beat Ray this weekend? Yes. Are you blitzing him? We you did. didn't do that the first game. No, we first didn't, game, and we, we did. talked about that. Game, no, game two, uh, we blitzed him every play. Um, well, I should – 90 – 90 percent so i've plays. converted you yeah in that we, we, we figured <laughs> something out there um with, Noah with, converted. with the way our our lineup was with the way our defense was um played it a little different had a better plan Listen, they're really good they're yeah. really athletic they're they're good um and so I, i'm confident but not cocky yeah you know, Love they, it. they 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 are well you really got the quarterback good. advantage I, I think we you do. definitely have the quarterback. Agreed. I think we do. Agreed. Um, you know, their best player is, is – I mean, they really have a three – They have a three-headed <laughs> – They have a three-headed monster with Mills, um, yeah. Neff, and uh, Keandre yeah. Fillmore. Those three are really, really good. Um, where they go is where that team goes. Um, they're, they're, they're all freak athletes. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that, that's, the, that's the, the thing we got to stop is those guys. Well, I'm excited about covering both of your Super Bowls this weekend. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm, I'm. I'm excited. I, I, I enjoy watching so, you guys so coach. Fifteen, you and fourteen, you are done on Saturday too. Yeah, yeah we're done. Yeah, and that, those are two of the. Again, uh, there, there's a couple of divisions I look forward to, but just be, it, it, but for your division, mm -hmm. it's about watching those players, just continually improve. Yeah, and that's what it comes down to, right? Which which one of these quarterbacks is going to make the play when it matters most? Yeah, yeah. My, you know, I I don't want to. He's he's my kid, so I don't want to say it. But like watching these kids over the years, you see the difference. Like my, um, I've seen it in 12U with uh, Niall's son Dorian. Oh yeah. yeah, Dorian is the most improved player uh, from last year to this year. Yeah, that you, I've you seen. might be right. Yeah, that's a good that. call. And that's a three good call. years ago, um, my son was playing for another team and couldn't. He he was barely playing, and now two years later, he's a really good player on a really good team and a big part of what we do. Um, it, it's fun to watch these kids progress. Um, but this 15U team uh, would not be where it is. KP. Would not be where it is without your guy that's coming up next for the interview. KP. KP. He, uh, he taught me how to do this. Um, he was the first person I coached with. He coached my son the first year. Uh, we won a Super Bowl the first year I was a part of this. He did all the work. I just I mean, watched he, the kids. He brought the shades. I lines. know. It, listen, He's big time. This, this is the real goat, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all need to How are like you? show the recognition. This dude has won more in Ocala than anybody. It's not even close. Yeah. I, well, I want to say one thing, and go I'm, I'm going to let his girl get in here. The one thing that impressed me from the from the moment I I saw him do this, and that's always stuck with me, is that first year, every game. He started every kid. There's 10 kids. Five started on offense. Five started on defense. And it didn't stop in the playoffs. And it didn't stop in the Super Bowl. He did it then, too. And we won the Super Bowl that way. And other coaches out there will not 
will not start kids. They won't play hardly any. <laughs> Matt and, Mosier. And I watched him do it a different <laughs> way, and that's always stuck with me. And, and you know, it was, it was awesome. But yeah. he's, he's been doing it a long time. Coach Pinckney, how are you? Hold on. Harley, I got you get muted. Yes, sir. Get your yes, mic sir. up there. Yes, sir. Carly, yeah. come on. I'd rather go in with ten dogs than three, you know. Ten I love dogs. it. Let me, let me, hold on, coach, hold on. Oh, he, he's, oh, he's yeah. got, I mean, he's go got get a, your, I mean, he's got to bring yeah, the hardware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, talk to Carly while he gets his set up. Yeah, let me, let, let's go through this 15U yeah. playoff bracket real quick. Um, the, the Rams are the number one seed, Coach yeah. Mike, you know, Pinkney. Um, the Eagles, the Steelers are the two seed. We've seen the Eagles and the, uh, Steelers, play. And the Steelers play. But by far and away, <laughs> the man with all the hardware, let me, let me bring it up on camera so I'm not cheating anybody. You got some of all of it. Bring them out there with a 